good evening ladies and gentlemen i'm amulya your host for today so our chief guest g srinivas rao garu is held in a important meeting in the cm's office he asked us to start the program so let's begin our evening so i'm pleased to welcome you all on behalf of aro publications private limited to this momentous occasion to release dr haima muthi's book entitled the pandemic panorama I thank you all for consenting to our request and making time to attend this event. So before we start this program I request you all to keep your phones on silent mode. <laughs> okay, thank you everyone. So taking our evening forward on behalf of everyone present here i would like to take this opportunity to welcome uh, our dignitaries sri mv krishna rao garu sri ramu sharma garu sri cv subha rao garu our author dr haima murthy garu dr homan uh, mohan das garu and mr krishna murthy garu for lighting of the lamp thank you everyone thank you everyone So, though our dignitaries do not require any introduction and are well known across public spectrum, Pan India, I am privileged to introduce them all. Firstly, it's a great pleasure for me to welcome M V Krishna Rao Garu. M V Krishna Rao is a 1974 batch IPS officer belonging to A P Cadre. He worked as a commissioner of police, Visakhapatnam, from 1991 to 1993, and Hyderabad in 2002 and 2003. He also worked as director of AP Police Academy Appa of United AP from 1993 to 1998 managing director of APS RTC from 2004 to 2006 and retired in 2010 as director general of SSB which guards the Indo Nepal and Indo Bhutan border He has had an illustrious career of 37 years in the Indian Police Service. Since then, he has been teaching internal security at several training and coaching institutes all over India. Now, I request Mr. P. Srinivas Rao, Director, Aro Publications Private Limited, to present him a bouquet. Now I would like to introduce our guest of honor Sri Ramu Sharma. Safe and soft spoken Ramu Sharma is a journalist with over 4 decades of experience. Starting his career in New Delhi 
He has worked with various reputed dailies, both English and vernacular. He started his career with the Janmabhoomi Group of Mumbai, based at Delhi, and then worked with English papers like the Hindu and the Times of India in various capacities. His passion to take challenges in life made him switch over to the Hans India English newspaper when it was launched in Hyderabad in 2011 as its political editor. He has shown his grit in exclusive coverage during the agitation for separate Telangana. He, along with his team, had given the best of the coverage. After taking over as the editor of Hans India, he had shown his versatility in bringing several changes which has helped the paper to make a mark of its own in the market as a major English paper. Now, I request Mr. G. Subarao, Director, Arrow Publications Private Limited, to present our guest of honor, a bouquet. Thank you, sir. Now, I would like to introduce our special invitee, Mr. C. V. Subarao Gadi. Mr. C. V. Subarao completed his MBA from Andhra University in 1978 and joined the Administrative Staff College of India as a management consultant. With his passion towards journalism, he has worked with several leading publishing houses like Enado, Udayam, and the Indian Express in various capacities. Currently, he is the editor and managing director of Telgo Times, a global newspaper started in 2003, printed in San Francisco, and distributed across United States. Apart from Telgo Times, to inculcate Telugu language to the NRI Telugu children, he started Patasala Telugu Books with the support of government of Andhra Pradesh. Also, he has coordinated various U.S. programs with chief ministers of Andhra Pradesh and organized several religious events like the Tirupati Srinivasa Kalyanams, Anavaram Satyanarana Swami Kalyanams, and uh, Badrachalam Sita Rama Kalyanams across United States. Currently, he is the advisor of Temples, NRI Wing, Endowments Department, Government of Andhra Pradesh. Now, I request Mr. C.H. Suresh, Director, Andro, uh, Aru Publications Private Limited, to present a special event. Mr. N. Ravindra, Regional Manager, Marketing, Arrow Publications Private Limited, to present a bouquet to our author, Dr. Haima Mohan. Uh, also, Mr. D.P.K. Babu, Director, Ashray Akhuti, will present a bouquet to Haima Mohan. have shared a beautiful relationship for many years. In fact, my association with Dr. Haima Muthi began right from the time my daughter Amulya, who was her student in Geetanjali school. Many years later, when I, along with my team, was making humble beginning in the publishing industry, we came into contact with Dr. Haima Murthy. Again, we have shared a special bond since then. During the making of our life skills think beyond, Dr. Hema Muthi played a very important role by helping us in editing the books and also giving her valuable suggestions. 
We are indeed fortunate to have her support and we hope to have an everlasting association with her. I express my gratitude on behalf of Arrow team for having been given this opportunity to contribute to the publication of this book, The Pandemic Panorama. We hope the book wins laurels and applause everywhere. We wish you all the best, Madam. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <coughs> now, let's move ahead to the most awaiting moment of this evening. I request Mr. M. V. Sarma, uh, M. V. Krishna Garu to, uh, to launch our author's book, The Pandemic Panorama. <laughs> provides us the genesis of the book. I want to say a few words to you. So, my associate to my school days when I was a student and she was my teacher, I, I never imagined that I would, be, I would have the honor to be part of her book release event. So, it's a very nice opportunity for me. Thank you, ma'am. So, I request you to speak about the book, ma'am. Raogaru is not here, but I start with Sri M. V. Krishna Raogaru, Sri Ramu Sharma Garu, Sri C. V. Subha Raogaru, Sri C. V. V. Krishna Garu, and the esteemed audience, good evening to one and all. I have my great friends here, my colleagues, everybody is here. I'm so happy to receive you all. Thank you so much for coming for the book release. Now, Mark Twain once suggested three tips for an effective speech. He said, be good, be brief, and be seated. <laughs> and then I was wondering how it is possible to be seated and, and give, give a, a speech and hear your own speech. Then I recollected Albert Einstein's snippet. Albert Einstein, once he won the Nobel Prize for his theory of relativity, he has been invited, he was invited to all places. He was traveling far and wide, to many universities, to many seminars, everywhere. And I think he has spent two months almost traveling and traveling. So one day while traveling to attend a university meeting, he told his driver, I'm really fed up of this moving and speaking the same thing for the last so many days. I just feel like sitting in the audience and listen to my own speech. Then the driver said, don't think it is impossible. It is possible. He said, how? He says, I've been traveling with you for the last so many days. And I have hearted your speech. Now you be in the audience. I will deliver the lecture. <laughs> so finally, they made the agreement. And then our great scientist was in the audience. And our duplicate was on the stage. And he successfully delivered the speech. 
And afterwards, of course, you all know, whenever there are sessions, there will be questioning from the professors. So one of the well-known professor, he gets up and he asks a question. And uh, our driver said, oh, it's such a simple question. My driver in the audience will answer your question. <laughs> and that, I was reminded of this snippet, and I said, it's best that I don't try those things to be on the safe side. So I thought, okay, let me deliver something. So that is what it is. And anyway, coming to my genesis of the book, it's nothing uh, special or anything. We all know we were going through a bad phase of pandemic. It was in the March, month of March. And uh, I am as such a restless person. My colleagues know, my Mrs. Sukumara knows more than anybody else. I'm a restless person. And I was totally restless. I didn't know what to do. So I started calling people. I said, uh, let me find out what people are doing. So I called a few people, little elderly. I don't call them old because I am also counted as old. So I don't call them old. They're elderly people and youngsters also because this is all work from home culture at that time. And uh, I came to know that the impact of the pandemic or the was more on the women at that time because there was no help from anywhere, no outside help. And ladies who are working in IT sectors and other places, they have worked from home, they open their shop at 8 o'clock and close at 8 o'clock in the house. And added to that, you all know, most of the ladies will know, it is the husband and the children at home. Okay, so their, jo their job is doubled up. So some of the ladies told me, youngsters, that it's becoming very difficult. So when I heard all those things, I thought, why not I put up put these thoughts into writing. So the first article that I wrote, because I never thought I'll write something. I can teach, I can do anything, but not writing, and never thought of it. Also. But then I thought, okay, let me put them into words, and then when to put them into words, suddenly in the middle of the night, one day I got up at 12 o'clock, I said, let me write something. I have decided, and I patted myself, yes, you can do, go ahead. So I sat and completed this, the superwoman, the first article that I wrote by 4, 4.30, and I posted it in all platforms that are available to me, Facebook, media, WhatsApp, and all messages, mail and all, and I posted. Then, of course, you always wait for rewards and appreciation and everything. So I was eagerly waiting, not sleeping, how many got comments, and then some of them told me that why you wrote about youngsters, you think yourself as a youngster? I said, no, I don't think myself as a youngster, so let me write for elderly people also. Then my second article after three, four days was the senior citizens. Because that time, if you all remember, the scared lot was the senior citizens, because people were telling, don't go out, if you go out, you will die. This is the only thing that was being told. So anyway, I wrote an article about senior citizens, and then slowly I thought, anything? Anything there? Nothing. Okay. So slowly I thought, I will put my words into thoughts, and I thought I'll make it as a hobby to write, but then that hobby became a habit for me later. After every three days, there was always itching, so I thought I should write something. So I continued writing. I started going to the past, coming to the present, relating the past, present, and everything I started writing. Some of the articles were placed were written based on the activities of that particular day. Like I have written Arjun, the Savyasachi. Okay, and that was because it was the, uh, uh, the Prime Minister dedicated MBT Arjun Tank to the nation. And I know what I went through when Arjun Tank was in the process of making. My husband was totally involved in that. And I was all alone with my two kids in there other than managing so many things. So the instincts that I wrote in all the articles are close to my heart and they happened with me. So this is, but when I'm writing or when I'm talking about my articles, I think it's very important for me to tell about the work, the pandemic work I have done because they're, they run parallel to each other. First, after writing one or two articles, I felt that there are so many people who are in need of our help. So somebody has to take the lead. So I'm not the person to look back to see somebody's following me or not. I go ahead. If I fall, I'll fall. Otherwise, no, I'll go ahead. So I just thought, why not I start collecting 
something to help these migrant labor unorganized sector people so first i thought i'll start with my with my the residents of my building meghamala where i stay so i started i sent a message whatsapp message and i spoke to some of them but they were all good they all contributed whatever is at home the dry ration that is to be given so they all contributed and i never expected that it's going to be so much i think the ration that was contributed by them came to at least 60 migrant labor we could supply then thank you but then i have to tell you this it was a serious lockdown time and this material has to reach the right person so i came across because i have a big network i maintain a network i know somebody who is doing this no food waste director he hasn't come today mr venkat morli so he has the permission from the government to take the vehicle go to these places so i called him up he came he collected and he has taken all these things so slowly then i approach my students i approach my friends i approach my cousins my relatives and of course i have a bank at home whenever i'm short of money i used to take from my husband so all those things we started supplying to everybody and i think uh, we have helped at least 5000 people in this pandemic as a... thank you and this started from april 3 2020 to august 30 2021 my writing of the articles and slowly along with this still i am continuing with social work because we are taking care of cancer patients pediatric cancer patients in some of the hospitals still i am continuing then some of the articles that are connected to the past i would like to mention i have already mentioned about then lone survivor it's about a flower i wrote but then i think you all should read it it is related i related it to the Uh, soldiers and then how a flower wishes that is what i have written about it and then uh, now next uh, then I, after writing these articles and all uh, i told you i am a restless person then i approached mr krishna he was kind enough to compile all these things and he said madam we'll go ahead with the book and he went ahead with the book and today the board the articles are seeing the light of the day i am so thankful to him and i am grateful to him also and uh, i must thank venkatesh whom we fondly call venki where are you venkatesh come 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 get up get up get up get up come he is the one actually for the cover page for the pictures that are there in the book for compiling and everything of course i went and sat with him i used to be little annoyed also sorry for anything thank you so i want to tell that he all I, he always says that i don't give credit to him for anything today in front of everybody i am giving come 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 <laughs> i am giving credit to him for everything because recently mr ramu sharma must be knowing i wrote an article in the newspaper hans india about social responsibility the need of the r in that i mentioned that why should always be a woman behind a man here is this example that there is a man behind. if you put one step forward there will be 20 steps following you this is what i have learned from the pandemic and try and spread as far as possible you may not give anything money need not be but smiles and happiness is what is required at least as long as we are going through this pandemic and i think every one of us should accept that social responsibility of helping people more than that we follow our own nature don't look at anybody whether somebody is doing or not what is your nature what is given by nature to you as nature has to be followed for this i just want to tell you a small story uh, we all have sadhus and sanyasis sitting at the bank for river and doing puja and meditation and all those things so we have a series of sadhus sitting and uh, and uh, near the pond and then one of the sadhus after, while doing meditation he opens his eyes and sees then there is a scorpion in the water that is struggling to come out so the sadhu he goes and helps the scorpion takes it out puts it on the bank of the river while he was putting it on the bank of the river it stings him okay then of course he says okay fine and again 
when he was in meditation, he opens his eyes. Again, the, the scorpion is in the water. He again goes and takes. And like this, it happens four or five times. And then one of the sadhus who was meditating and he opens his eyes and he says, Are you not ashamed or you not or you don't? You have any sense to help this scorpion so many times? It is stinging you so many times. He says, stinging is its, ni its nature, saving is my nature. So let us follow our natures. Let us do. And then keep smiling, keep helping, keep working, and then Remember one thing, age is only just a number. So keep working. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep. And miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. Thank you so much. That was really good, ma'am. Thank you so much. Now I request Sri M.V. Krishna Rao Garu to address the audience. He was killed on the 27th of January, 1993 when he was in the peak of his career. So from the day I joined, we were together and we were both Telugu people, Dattu from Hyderabad. So his house was in Barkat Gura, Barkat Pura, Barkat Pura. And we have uh, Dr. Krishna Sagar here, his neighbor in the opposite side. Krishna Sagar and I are uh, were contemporaries in Warangal from 1962 to 66. He studied engineering in Regional Engineering College. And thanks to Haima, I am able to see after a long gap my classmate, Komaraj Setumar Haro. We were in the same class, same bench, competing with each other for rank number one. Uh, and uh, that was St. Gabriel's High School, Kazipet, near Warangal. So I am quite impressed with her. A bill to reduce her thoughts into writing. She did mention about the circumstances under which she took to this writing initially as a blog or as uh, comments in a Facebook or uh, maybe something else, not Twitter. Twitter doesn't allow so many words. Uh, but otherwise, something like that social media type. And um, that ultimately, thanks to the publisher's, I can't say temerity or audacity or guts, but benevolence, it is now an 80 page book. And uh, I'm sure most of you would not have had access to the book since I was required to speak about the book even before it was released, I got a copy. So that is the privilege of uh, uh, having to speak on a book before it is released. So this is the book, 80 pages, and it is very conveniently classified into two categories. In fact, uh, I must also mention that there are three forewords for this book, written in excellent uh, language, very, very, uh, I would say, uh, impressive, three different, probably all of them are uh, fellow teachers of yours or something. Really do you come across a book with three, four words and all very well written. And of course, uh, her own version is also there. These 22 articles are broadly categorized into two during the lockdown period and post lockdown, that is called unlockdown. So, and I don't know whether she herself gave these titles or there was some kind of an editorial assistance, but excellently titled. First of all, when you read them, you will realize that though the, the, the ambience at the time she wrote was extremely tragic, it's the worst of times after the Spanish flu 100 years ago, this was the worst the, ever, the world ever saw. And uh, many of us lost our friends, classmates, relatives, well-known people, not so well-known. But during that time also, when she could uh, uh, come, uh, transfer her thoughts into words, there is a streak of humor. It's not completely serious, nor is it uh, extremely depressing. The topic 
is interesting, stimulating. The ambience, the times during which it was written, of course, uh, is somewhat uh, tragic and depressing. So I was uh, quite uh, uh, surprised. The superwoman and senior citizens, anyway, that is I being one of the oldest, probably the oldest in this room. So I have been advised, I continue to be advised by everybody known to me as to how many different uh, uh, alums and jela uh, karra and all that I should eat to acquire immunity and how I should walk, uh, take 10,000 steps every day uh, and things like that. But in addition to that, I like this Ramayana Revisited. As you know, out of boredom, uh, many people, when uh, the government of India took a decision to re-telecast the original Ramayana, which was uh, produced by Ramanand Sagar, a very great uh, uh, producer of uh, films generally, but this particular one um, really was uh, so impressive. I still remember that young Sita, who later became an MLA or MP, I don't remember, from Gujarat, very slim and all that. So, and the Rama also always bare-chested with a nice V-shaped body, uh, no paunch. So, um, that was re-telecast. So, there is a nice piece on that. And, of course, there is another somewhat uh, depressing one, but about an engineering graduate delivering um, provisions or what do you call them, groceries to her. Of course, at that time she didn't know he was an engineering graduate. But during uh, such times, uh, nobody bothers about what you are, or what you were, what your education qualifications. So you have uh, um, many jobs wiped off. So the only jobs that are available are this uh, swiggy kind of what is called the gig economy. I want something to be delivered. Thank God Amazon continued to work at that time. That is the time I learned how to book uh, anything on Amazon. Uh, Frazo did not exist uh, in the initial part, but Swiggy, Zomato, they all existed and uh, guys like me became tech savvy. So the delivery person, when it is delivered, we don't question him as to what is his educational qualification. He says, he can. We take, and I don't normally tip anybody. But she, I don't know, gave two 500 rupee notes to that delivery boy. He was a young boy, uh, maybe still studying engineering or something. So he, like a fool, did not spend that 500, two, 1,000 rupees, two 500 notes. And uh, in the post-pandemic era, maybe in end of 2002, uh, he called up and said, I still every day look at it as a motivation. So it is at that time that accidentally he reveals the fact that he was an engineering graduate. Of course, uh, our Haima got uh, uh, extremely shocked by this revelation and she felt very sorry and she says, her husband will vouch for it, that she had to collapse in a sofa. Uh, whether it, she did collapse or not. Uh, you <laughs> Coming as she does from a very, very brave family, every member of her, she has a younger sister, Dr. Jyoti, in California, very brave. So her own uh, elder brother, Vyas, is a very brave person. Known, he's he's uh, the bravest policeman I ever saw. So uh, she has those genetic uh, build-up. So uh, she was about to collapse, but she didn't. Anyway, another nice article, uh, another piece, is about a father, Narasimham Garu, whom I knew rather intimately. Uh, he was a headmaster of uh, a government uh, school or college, a government school, or a very uh, brilliant academician. So, reading or rereading about him, and uh, that too in this in this bundle, is something uh, that's on. A, she wrote it on a Father's Day. Of course, uh, when we were born, there were no Father's Days, nor were there any Husband's Days. Do we have any Husband's Days nowadays? Uh, we have, I think, a Women's Day or something like that. But husbands are yet to get a day for themselves. Be that as it may, I was very, very happy to read about the great uh, late Narsimham Garu. Her mother is a writer. Her mother, Kamala Devi Garu, is a writer. So, but I don't know whether Narsimham Garu wrote anything. 
अच्छा अच्छा इसी कुछ आइडिया में भी ऑन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वीडियो समथिंग लाइक अभी दैट एज इट मे दिस एबिलिटी टू टीच शी मस्ट हैव इंबाइब्ड बेसिकली फ्रॉम अ फादर ही वाज अ ब्रिलियंट टीचर अ ब्रिलियंट टीचर एंड सो नाउ आई रियलाइज व्हाट अ ग्रेट टीचर शी वाज शी मस्ट हैव बीन आई वाज नेवर अ स्टूडेंट हैविंग बीन बोर्न अ गुड 15 इयर्स बिफोर हर बट शी मस्ट हैव द इंप्रेशनेबल but fortunately we outgrow them so then uh, we no longer uh, having seen many others we no no longer have that that kind of a, an iconic image oh my teacher so and so did oh he was so brilliant there are more brilliant people in this world and but uh, they 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 have their own little places in this this world of ours so having said that i have i think exceeded much more than the time allotted to me this started half an hour late come what may it should have ended or it should end at 8:30 it's 7:30 so i must give an opportunity for all the remaining people to share their views thank you for a very patient uh, listening and i wish uh, dr haima garu i am not a doctor i don't have a phd i am a very ordinary guy but dr haima garu thanks to the cooperation from her husband uh, she did become a phd so i i hope uh, many more uh such pieces would flow out of your pen or your word processor <laughs> <laughs> did did you write this uh, uh, pen and paper or did you type it on a word processor yes i used to sit print do it on the mobile <laughs> oh good <laughs> yeah i mean anyway she got used to handling these devices and uh, therefore she is fit to maybe Uh, produce some more like this may god bless her with many more creative works and god bless you all for a patient way thank you thank you so much sir for your kind words now i request v ramu sharma garu to please talk dignitaries on the dais and dignitaries of sitting on the other side of the dais very good evening to you at the outset i will say please buy this book yeah. and read it yeah. why i am saying why i am asking you to buy this book is as she said the proceedings will go for a very good cause and more than that these days the habit of reading books has gone down but since all of us all of us who are senior citizens or elderly people who as she said are sitting here I think it's time we revive the concept of educating our grandchildren you know, by narrating different kind of stories. Earlier, when I was a small kid and all of us were you know, that age, probably our grandmothers or mothers used to narrate stories at bedtime. Now that habit is no more. The children don't. The, our children don't have time to give, tell stories, to narrate stories to their children. Everyone is busy on their computers, IT sector, this, that, that. and uh, from morning till evening they are on sitting behind the computers getting spinal spondylitis and all kinds of diseases so it is time we revive this habit of narrating stories because the children the, the present day children they are lacking behind in sort of they are getting all kinds of information on mobile my granddaughter is much faster in handling the mobile than me she even Uh, do all kinds of editing on the of the pictures and all those things which i don't know so, but if you if you ask them to narrate some story to give some kind of uh, you know uh, some examples or something like that from ramayana or mahabharata or something sorry they don't know anything they'll talk about jack and jill they'll talk about anything they'll they'll talk about the uh, comedy the videos that are coming on the youtube videos of say some some american programs they start speaking in american accent but they don't learn telugu i have seen many people who say ma pillalu telugu raadandi as if it's a great thing great achievement see even i i was born and brought up in delhi i studied in bharti vidya bhavan which is an english medium school all my friends were gujaratis i didn't know how to read or write telugu at that time because i never had a subject one day my father was a writer so my mother asked me nik i said what can i do nobody has taught me she said kuch to nahi nirpista and she taught me alphabets that's all after that i picked up on my own 
today today i can point out mistakes in telugu i may commit lots of mistakes while writing that's a different thing but i can point out mistakes in telugu so that is how we have got to teach our youngsters the children and more so the, the the responsibility now is more on the grandmothers and grandfathers because as i said the parents have no time now coming to this book it was really interesting because i, I like krishna garu said i also had an opportunity to go through this before the release as he in fact i wanted to quote that story which he has already quoted about the engineer is fantastic the the way people had to survive the people had to struggle and since we also by running the newspaper we also saw how, what kind of problems people were facing and uh, even in our own organization we had lots of people facing this problem so we had to work out so many you know logistics and see that the paper survives the people survive in many organizations people were sacked fortunately we did not do that kind of a thing similarly there is another story in this again he mentioned about it i wanted to see that that was about the alternative medicine it was very very interesting as he said many people have been telling me also that you take these capsules of uh, uh, neem capsules of uh, turmeric it will boost your immunity i did try also to be very frank i did <laughs> so all these things were there it's a very interesting uh, kind of story small small stories if we can narrate such stories to the youngsters you know it will check, bring a, a phenomenal change in their thinking which is not there these days we have to bring it back we have to bring that line of thinking back and uh, see that the society prospers that is why i said we all of us should buy this book read because for two reasons one the, the stories are simple in very simple language which even a small child can understand and uh, they are very interesting very interesting it's not a big 500 page novel where you go on reading 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 and somewhere you forget what you read earlier it's not like that so i wish her all the best and uh, if my association with her is very recent one day she suddenly suddenly walked into my office she said i am so and so and uh, i have a passion for writing i am writing certain articles and all these things is there anything i can do for your paper i said most welcome you can write something for the youngsters we have a page called young hans you said you can always write for us something that will help the students something that is of uh, um, what shall i say some kind of uh, you know since she was a teacher i thought it was better if she write something on education right from standard 10 upwards right up to ias ips and all those things competitive exams she has been writing and to my surprise uh, two two or three days before the republic day she sent some articles that was about uh, her brother interestingly at the same time i got some some another author who wrote something about agriculture so we bought out on the edit page saying jay jawan jay kisan <laughs> so that is how my association started with her she has been writing for us it's in simple language and uh, it's very interesting so uh, i once again recommend all of you buy this book thank you thank you so much sir now i request cv subarao garu to please say a few words Good evening, everybody. Guests on the dais, uh, Mr. Krishna Ragaru, Ram Sharma Garu, Head of Obligations, MD, Bal Krishna Garu, and host today, Amulya, and all the guests. A warm welcome. Good evening to all of you. Uh, there are a lot of uh, surprises actually when uh, Mr. Krishna asked me to. come to this function and he said the pandemic panorama uh, i thought uh, is going to be uh, i was because myself i am an editor of a telugu newspaper telugu times which is a publisher from san francisco last 19 years so in the last 2 years even though i was going through the pandemic like every one of you i was also going through a lot of Uh, reading a lot of articles and all those things 
they are very scientific. Srinivas Raghur is not coming, then I thought we, we need not wear it. <laughs> so all surprises. When I saw a white paper pasted on this side, other photo the side, maybe the chief guest photo is not coming, though pasted it. <laughs> oh, the arrow is really smart, I thought. <laughs> when I realized it's a book, uh, book is in right. Uh, well, uh, friends, uh, Corona really taught a uh, different way of life. Actually, the new normal world itself is a new invention. We realize that this is not normal, but we accepted it as normal life. This is normal. When the lot of writings happened, mostly on on the disease and the medicines, the lots of lots of uh, articles came uh, about the disease. Uh, the business was shut down, how, every, everything, everything. But there are very few writings about some of the incidences, some of the articles. Now I come to Dr. Haima Garu's book. Uh, uh, definitely it's a, it's a wonderful book uh, because she narrated small, small incidents happened during the pandemic time. In fact, uh, most see what an other other is not an inventor other writes she writes we know all those things we experienced it we saw it we heard it but now we are reading it because it happened all those things she listed out and put it as a nice interesting reading see these kind of books will motivate people will motivate it's not that we do not know yes we know what happened in the lockdown period uh, we know what happened post lockdown period but everywhere when we read the article given by her now we we narrate our own experiences our own feelings our own thoughts then it gives some kind of a feeling some kind of a, uh, a thought process yes yes this all happened this all the experience we all went through that experience and she nicely narrated them and put them in an 80 page book in fact some of them yeah, like senior surgeons uh, you know positivity humanity those are all wonderful uh, interesting articles and you know that it's not fiction it's not a writing by a doctorate it's it's written about her own experience it is our own experience. We have seen it. Then unlock e-learning, wonderful. Then a nightmare. Yes, everyone. Even I, for example, I, I, I was really not very worried those days. Even though everybody was saying I was going around, kind of thing. I thought, okay, if I get positive, COVID positive, maybe I have to quarantine for 14 days. That kind of thing. When I tested positive. Myself, Mr. Krishna, we both went together. We both tested positive that day. <laughs> we thought, okay, it's no problem. Immediately in the next two hours, we designed our uh, home, a quarantine room. I put everything, my laptop, my music system, everything, disposable plates, disposable glasses. I have a, a nephew, is a doctor. I told him casually, yes, I also got positive. I started my quarantine. He said, Mama, you have an oximeter. Yes. Oh, it's good. I'm testing uh, 96. Why don't you walk in the same room for six minutes and see? I did it. Then he reached to 89. <laughs> <laughs> then let us see one more time tomorrow morning. Then next day morning also I walked in the room. It, it came to 87. <laughs> then he said, Mama, it, you are uh, not supposed to take quarantine at home. You get, better get admitted. That's then started the nightmare. That's the day. <laughs> so it all happened to every one of us. Every one of us. And nicely, when we read this, we remember our own experiences, our own feelings. Uh, the, the preventive medicine, yes. You know, both uh, the people, they have spoken about it. Then whether vaccination, we are, are we vaccinated or not? That's again a debate. That's a wonderfully written, <laughs> wonderfully written, and <laughs> masked or unmasked. That's also another very interesting. Everything is very, very interesting. Small, small 
articles, three page, two page articles. Read it nicely. Uh, you, uh, you can happily read this book. Wonderfully written. I really uh, appreciate Dr. Haima Muthigaru for putting our thoughts into a nice reading. Uh, a nice reading for a common people. Everybody can read it. And uh, wonderful. Thank you so much. And I congratulate Arrow Publications uh, for publishing this book and also giving me an opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your nice words. Um, do anyone from the audience would like to say some few words about Haima, ma'am, or the book? Ma'am. Good evening, and uh, I would like to first congratulate uh, Dr. Haima Murthy and also thank her for inviting me. Yesterday was a real threat in that she sent me. You lift the phone, and I'm not calling you for this. <laughs> so that's expected of uh, Dr. Haima. See, the association is so, I mean, our uh, bond is so much that uh, we can definitely command and demand, <laughs> no doubt about it. But yes, as uh, actually I'm from Gitanjali school and uh, we have worked together and amazing teacher. As a teacher, she was really, and especially when she just come down from, from Der uh, Deradun. And uh, it was, I mean, every child, I don't think there would be any child who has learned under her has uh, said that uh, English is not good. The way she has created that, you know, interest in every child is something which is uh, wonderful. And yes, I have known Dr. Haima Murthy for all the services that she's doing to her responsibility towards the society. It is absolutely commendable. Yes, and... Uh, the organization with whom she works, the way she works towards it, as she owns it. And that is the bond that she has with every member of that organization. So yes, definitely, more than anything else, I think one has to think where the money is going to. And it is for a cause. And which uh, directly, if you're not doing indirectly, you must definitely uh, you know, help out. And as she said, yes, this pandemic has, uh, it should have been actually, a pandemic should have been a positive move towards uh, gaining a lot of things, uh, knowledge. And that is what I think uh, uh, what she has done. And uh, I was also not tech savvy, but yes, this was the time where the maximum learning happened. And uh, definitely towards, uh, I realized that that talent of uh, having contents formed into videos was something that I was doing for my department, which I never expected that I would be able to do it. But yes, for all the members of my department, mathematics department, I used to, I mean, nobody can imagine videos made for students. I mean, they don't have to look at anything, whether it is uh, even the problem solving was put into the video. So that talent came only that, you know, we have to uh, not take it as a pandemic which is disturbing, but we have to find opportunities in every problems uh, that we face is something that uh, I think that's how we are all together as friends because all of us have this thought. Uh, Kala is there, Prava is there, all of us make use of our time. Uh, positively in some way or the other. I think uh, that is the best bond that we have and wishing Dr. Haima and wanting to read the book first and foremost. And uh, I was just thinking I need to take for my both the children. Uh, I thought, yes, your book will be motivating for all, for my grandchildren, definitely. <laughs> and uh, hoping to see Haima write more and more 
uh, and uh, we have more of these and a long association with uh, Mr. Krishna. Uh, I think I haven't seen a publisher and a person as a human being who is a wonderful person. And uh, yes, I too got an opportunity to write some things in my subject with, yes, and uh, editing and things like that. But it was a wonderful association. Confidence in our subject, you know, actually. That is uh, the opportunity that Mr. Krishna had given. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. Krishna, for inviting. Thanks, Doctor. <laughs> Thank you so much, ma'am. We were the first batch when she came down from Dehradun. We were the first batch. She got so attached to all of us. I think everyone in our class are still in contact with her. We were batch 2009. It's 2022 now. So, hi, ma'am. Ma sessions are very good. Anyone else would like to talk? Good evening, all of you. Uh, I'm grateful to Dr. Haima for inviting me. Please. She has been the colleague of my wife, who just spoke now, Maya. Secondly, I do run a small setup where I counsel the students in colleges, in schools, etc. And in that activity which I undertook, I requested her to help me out to conduct the program and we have visited a couple of schools in one place I distinctly remember. She was very helpful and I really liked the brilliance which she showed and brought life to the activity which we undertook. So that is the second occasion when I associated with her and as she said, uh, I'll just briefly introduce myself. I am Colonel Sukumaran. I took voluntary retirement from the army some two and a half decades ago and then worked with ICFAI for almost uh, a decade. I was the registrar of one of the associates of ICFAI, then came out and launched my own small setup which I talked about. Besides this, I have had the opportunity to undergo the pleasure or pain that she underwent in bringing out this book. I also authored a book of this kind, but I don't want to talk much about it. It is about lighter side of life in the army. And it was released by the CDS, the General Bipin Rawat who passed away in the recent past. So I have had the opportunity to, you know, and frankly that is, he and me were trained together in the Indian Military Academy. And that association, you know, it carried on. And once a soldier, always a soldier. So that worked and I just dropped a mail to him. My book is ready, i releasing it. It took 15 days, both of us had gone and got it released in the month of March. So that is how the, the book writing experience I, you know, I can understand, I can, you know, the, how, what he went through. There is a pain involved, definitely. But the pleasure that comes later is inexplicable. You really find people writing back to you, sending you, you know, very, very motivating kind of uh, uh, write-ups, even speaking to you and, you know, it motivates you. I have not gone through the book and now, of course, we will have the opportunity to go, to go through the book. Like my wife said, we will buy it for our grandchildren, definitely. And uh, we would also recommend to many people, because I know her capability, having seen her, you know, in action. So definitely it will be a, a gift to the people to whom I recommend to buy this book. Uh, thank you so much and uh, I wish you all the very best for writing more uh, books of this kind. And uh, uh, we will definitely try and you know, see how this book, this book can be given to other people as also 
uh, you know, read all her articles. In fact, I came to know about her articles in Hans, and my wife told me there are some, you know, that is, there are articles coming, and I am very fond of reading. So, I saw that which you referred as the, the gentleman uh, from Hans. Yeah, yeah. So I read that uh, article. It was in circulation in the social media, I believe. So I read that also. Uh, I was mighty impressed, and of course, not surprised because I know her to that extent. I also know her husband, her, his background, and we've been interacting, not very frequently though. So once again, all the best, best to you, uh, Dr. Haima. And thank you so much for the patient hearing. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Anyone else would like to talk? I request Babu Garu to say a few words. Good evening, everyone. Sarche uh, Paro, I mean, uh, he would do justice in English and Telugu. So, I think that Telugu is not the same as Matru Bhashadi. Pardon me. Haima Murthy Garu, I think that he is a very systematic person. He is a very systematic person. He is a very good person. वाला इन वाला आउट उन्नीस ट्वेंटी इंटी के इंटर ने मॉडिटर बोल उन्नतर अंदर गर लाइन में ना जो अपार्टमेंट लोन टर हो सो आई ने कलर टाइम की वेल ने पढ़ो उग्र जो लिफ्ट आगे पहन आ लिफ्ट आंटे द लिफ्ट डोर आगे पहन आगे पहन ने बाइट कोच्चे नो आउट इला पीप चेसे सी मेरे डोर अंदर सरिगा वेल अंदर जेतर Nen went ni nenu wait kocci, awal ni nenu lift tadi, bawa ni close chest sana ni, sehari ke panca itu ledu. Moro, I am also teacher, I run a school for children, I run several schools. I am also discipline itu, ala interaction ni, dawai kita nak tu. Oh, ala itu, mere school run chest teranar, I run an volunteer organisation for children with disabilities and Japan. Went ni, oh then I want to volunteer teranar. से ये चलो, I mean ना अंदर चिन्ना या अंदर अंदर या चिन्ने ही जनाल का दंडी। तो ये पटलो ये इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट्स का नहीं लेक पोते ग्रेजुएट्स का नहीं पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट्स का नहीं टाइम उन्नो वाले वॉलेंटर चले न वालो आ आ में वो ची इन्वॉल्व गाउट मो सच्चे प्रोएक्टिव नेचर uh, she helps with her content and uh, and also she raises lots of resources especially financial resources for our nation from her friends relatives <laughs> and especially uh, I would like to immensely thank uh, uh, Mrs. Kanyakumari and Dr. Ramna Ravaru. So I mean not that because uh, she's helping uh, our organization Ashraya Kruti but uh, in general, she's connected to no food waste. She's connected to many other organizations. She, uh, we did a lot of COVID relief work. We supported uh, groceries to 25,000 people through our organization. So each kit containing 1,500 rupees worth groceries. Babugaru, I have 60 kits. I found an organization which where uh, there are 60 people who are uh, underprivileged women and children. Why don't you? Uh, go give them. So she makes sure that they're being delivered, they're being uh, handed over to the right people. She she makes friends. Chapoch kadandi? Ah, wala vidlo ne twenty vegetable samme wallu watchmen su. Yi kalon lo yawar ki time undan nanta. Ante pratokaru variya ka status su ho da. Abe chala mukhyam. Aavda babgaru I found a lady. She requires some uh, promise, she no, I will help you. Ani Yavda, Mrs. Maya Sukumar and Jepargada, she demands also. <laughs> and uh, my organization, our uh, 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 I mean, I mean, uh, I mean uh, relationship developed uh, 
దేవుడిని నేను థ్యాంక్ చేస్తున్నాను అండ్ స్పెషలీ మిస్టర్ కృష్ణమూర్తి గారు చాలా గొప్ప సహకారం అందించారు డాక్టర్ హైమామూర్తి గారికి బుక్ రాయటం అంటే చాలా కష్టమైనటువంటి పడి చాలా కష్టమైనటువంటి పని మా అందరం అనుకుంటాం కానీ అన్నీ అన్నీ చేయలేము ఇట్స్ 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 ఎ వెరీ కాంప్లికేటెడ్ థింగ్ లైక్ ఇట్స్ లైక్ పబ్లిక్ స్పీకింగ్ ఎంత కష్టమో అలా బుక్ రాయటము అండ్ యు ఆర్ మేకింగ్ ఎ పబ్లిక్ ప్లేట్ దట్ యువర్ ఐడియాస్ యువర్ థాట్స్ ఇవన్నీ కూడా డాక్టర్ హేమామూర్తి గారు చిన్న చిన్నటువంటి విషయాలు ఐ మీన్ ఇంకో స్పీకర్ చెప్తున్నారు మనము ఏదైతే అనుభవించున్నామో ఆల్ ఆఫ్ మస్ట్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ అస్ మస్ట్ హ్యావ్ సీన్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ బట్ పెన్నింగ్ ఇట్ డౌన్ అండ్ ఆ మెమరీస్ని మళ్ళీ మనం కూడా రీవిజిట్ చేయటము అవి అవి చాలా గొప్ప అనుభూతులు ఐ మీన్ ఆరో పబ్లికేషన్స్కి కృష్ణ గారికి ఐ మీన్ హీ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో డోనర్ టు సో ఆయనకి కంగ్రాచులేషన్స్ మరొకసారి డాక్టర్ కృష్ణ డాక్టర్ హైమామూర్తి గారికి తర్వాత మిస్టర్ కృష్ణమూర్తి గారికి దేవుడు చక్కటి ఆరోగ్యాన్ని తర్వాత మరిన్ని బుక్స్ రాసేటువంటి శక్తిని మమ్మల్ని అందరినీ మేల్కొల్పేటువంటి సందేశాలతో ముందుకు రావాలని నేను కోరుకుంటున్నాను ధన్యవాదాలు సభాయైన మహా గురవే సర్వోకానాజే భవరోగిణాం నిధయే సర్వ విద్యానాం దక్షిణామూర్త నమ నాకు హైమామూర్తి గారు నేను ఆవిడ కలిసి గీతాంజలి స్కూల్లో పనిచేశాను గీతాంజలి స్కూల్ ఫౌండేషన్ స్టోన్ వేశానండి నేను ముప్పై ఏడు సంవత్సరాల క్రితము బేగంపేట్లో నూట ఎనభై రెండు మంది పిల్లలు లెవెన్ టీచర్స్ అండ్ వన్ ఎయిటీ టూ స్టూడెంట్స్ తోటి గీతాంజలి స్కూల్ స్టార్ట్ అయింది ఇన్ లెవెన్ టీచర్స్ ఐఎమ్ ద వన్ ఆఫ్ ద పర్సన్ సో టుడే వీ హ్యావ్ సిక్స్ బ్రాంచెస్ is i proudly say that i worked 37 years in that organization as a telugu teacher there i met her she is my husband's elder sister yes so whether i am afraid of anybody or not but i am afraid of my sister in law anything because the love and affection which she gives anything she will do immediately she will talk to me whether 10 o'clock whether 11 o'clock she will has to talk to me she has to share with me everything all the incidents which are there in the book she has shared with me i i am really a fortunate person to hear all those things and whenever she is feeling a little low she wanted the blessings immediately she will tell i will go to her and no the blessings is not i am giving it's the guru will give the blessings she had such faith in me whatever work she will tell me and her brother that is my husband he will also he won't afraid of anything whichever i tell he never do anything but the sister will tell even the hands paper that's my husband her brother has introduced this and he has such a respect towards her so my relationship is going like this whether i don't know what talents i have no that's what mrs sukumaran just now told when i was in the school also it's not that i know anything i used to go no i just share with the children not that i know everything actually my learning process still continue till my last breath because i don't know anything there is so much to learn so i am learning when i left the school when i retired from the school there are so many people are waiting outside this is what i told my sister in law she said yes there are so many are waiting so you have to reach them that is how she is to motivate me 
So and now I am you know, doing so many things, teaching Bhagavad Gita. It's, Bhagavad Gita is something which you know, people think it is a spiritual book. No, it is not. It is encyclopedia of life is Bhagavad Gita. It is every human being has to learn. So this is, in these matters, she used to support me and whatever she wants, she demand, that's what they told, no? Command and demand. But my brother, my elder brother, he's sitting there. I will tell you, he so quietly smiled. <laughs> I she will talk to me with her voice like me. But when Annaya was sitting there, she says, but I tell you, that is how the support will be. Always behind the curtain, my brother will work. Otherwise, she won't be here. This I will tell you with... It's so much of daringly, I'm telling you, she won't sit here if he won't work behind the curtain. He won't show anything. It's not only for her, anybody. He wants to help, he will do behind the curtain. Even I will do things only behind the curtain only. I never come for front and do the things. So given me this opportunity, I am so proud that I'm associated with my sister-in-law. God has given this sister-in-law and the brother to me. <coughs> so I'm very, very fortunate to be associated with her. Any small things she shared with me. She comes home, I will go to her. But she, that's what I'm telling you, I have to go to her house. You have to come, that's it. There is no choice for me. However hectic, today actually program also, my husband has so many important work also. But he said, no, my akka will shout, my akka champa sadhanam. That is, it's not that fear or anything, the respect. I mean to say that. Then I said, no, we have to go. So that's how here. So congratulations, Tali. You have to do many more things like this. It's not badnam, it's so much of love. We are telling this. It's not badnam. Everybody won't do that. The demand and command. Is... Exactly. Exactly. But we always say whatever in the end, whatever she says, we have to say yes. That's it. We talk so many things, but in the end we have to say yes to her. That will go on. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, ma'am. So one thing about Kalabaskar, ma'am, is in our school, Gitanjali school, no one will write an exam without taking her blessings. No one will go to the exam hall without her blessings. I think it, it continued from it till you were there in the school. <laughs> That's nice. Ma that's nice, ma'am. I request Mr. Krishnamurti Garu to please say a few words. <laughs> please, sir. Mr. Martelers, Martelers, go in five minutes, sir. <laughs> See, there's nothing I can add to whatever all the friends here who are assembled have said about Haima, about her personality, about her passion for doing things, dedication, pushing things to the limit. I really, I've been associated now, we are married for almost 48 years, 40, 49 years. And I, every day she amazes me with new energy, new thoughts, new ideas. And after she retired from Gitanjali, she got associated with this ashram. And my sisters just to, told a lot of good things about me. I don't deserve all that. She is probably mistaken. <laughs> I'm not. 
you ask I am in private, what such a bad fellow I am. <laughs> she will tell you. Huh? So anyway, I have seen her struggling night on a mo uh, this one mobile. She was typing her articles. And I told her so many times, there's a computer laptop lying, why don't you use that? No, no, I don't want to use that, this, that, I'm comfortable using, I can do it in my time, my thing, I'm not dependent on anyone. So that sense of independence, she doesn't want to depend on me for anything, for helping her with that word processor, formatting, spell check, I will do everything myself. So she struggled almost single-handedly, and as she told herself, a lot of parallel activities were going on, relief work, this work, lot of uh, societal help, some student has a problem, some doctor has a problem, somebody has some medical uh, help they want the, her to refer her to some doctors. She has made a network of doctors, hospitals, teachers, I don't know what all now, Hans also is a new family she has adopted. So that capability I don't think I can, uh, I mean, possible for many people to emulate. Anyway, I'm very happy for her that people are finding her uh, work very useful to society and to generally things. But she gets very animated, all of you know that. Even when she looks, she, uh, listens to a TV discussion, I mean, she will be commenting equally about Arnab Goswami and what he's telling and why he's wrong and what he should be saying. What he should. So, uh, to listen to her or to listen to the TV, I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, these are all snippets. I think most of you also must be facing in your lives in your own ways. But Kalabas Kargaru has given very positive report, which I don't deserve as far as I am concerned. And I think Colonel Saab also Sukumar has <laughs> told. I am not such an active fellow. Because, you know, it's not my fault really. I worked very hard during my service in DRDO. And uh, very often we used to be in field areas, desert areas, forest areas, ships, all that. So the day I retired, she told me, you worked very hard. Now you don't, you relax, you don't do anything. So I'm seriously following whatever she told me. <laughs> so, so I sit and she just keeps on flitting. I'm going here, I'm going there, I have to do this, I have to do that. And then she will say, okay, I'm short by 25,000 rupees, I'm short by 70,000 rupees. <laughs> then, okay, kya it makes you happy, it's fine. So she's very happy when she goes out. I'm also very happy when she goes out. <laughs> so <laughs> so and that is how life goes on. So let's see how long we can carry like on like this. Anyway, thanks to all her well wishers, our friends, all the good people who have come here for encouraging us, her. And I also hope that she comes out with more articles, more creativity. She tried at hand at many, many arts painting, and then what else, dancing, music, so a lot of things. But I think finally she has found her niche in this particular area. So I hope she continues. And maybe as Ramu Garu said, or Krishna Garu said about Telugu, I think she should write in Telugu also because she belongs to a very distinguished family. Toru? Chirak Murti Garu. So I think she should keep up that uh, tradition and try her hand at Telugu also because as Ramu Garu said, we have forgotten Telugu. I myself have never studied Telugu because I was schooled in Dehradun. But for some curious reason, I don't know how. I know how to read, but I don't know how to write <laughs> uh, Telugu. So that is how things are. Anyway, once again, thanks to all of you for coming and gracing the occasion and encouraging Haima, which uh, will keep her very happy for many days. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Please. I would like to say a few words. In her speech, Maya Madam told about digitalization of the content. Here, before pandemic, Arrow publication doesn't have any idea about digital content. After going through all the, passing through the pandemic period, our company has changed our way and we have produced more than 1250 videos on different <laughs> subjects and with that we are now catering to all the schools. Thank you very much.
Thank you all the dignitaries and all the audience for such kind words. We got to know a lot about Hi Ma'am Ma today. So uh, now let's move forward. It's time to felicitate our guests. I request the directors of Arrow Publications Private Limited to please come onto the stage and uh, give our guests the momentos. Thank you everyone. With this warm and affectionate felicitation, we will end our program with a vote of thanks. I request Mr. N. Ravindra to please give the vote of thanks. Distinguished dignitaries, respected author, invitees and friends a very good evening to you all on behalf of arrow team i express my sincere thanks to sri mv krishna rao garu for having presided over this event and we thank him for such a beautiful review of dr haima muthi's book we feel privileged to have sri V. Ramu Sarmagaru as a guest of honor. As you rightly said that we have to revive the reading habit so as to bring change in the thinking process. We are delighted to have C. V. Subarao Garu amongst us. We thank him for his continued guidance to Arrow family in all aspects. We also thank Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Sukumaran, Babugaru, Sri Sister's name? Kalavaskar, Kala ma'am, and uh, Krishnamurti, sir, for sharing their feelings for uh, and thoughts for Dr. Haima Murthy. Most importantly, we thank Dr. Haima Murthy, the author of the book, The Pandemic Paranormal, for having given us the opportunity to publish this book. From what we understand from her address to us and those of the dignitaries, 
We have seen that how an attempt has been made to present the pandemic situation in our book in a way we all can relate to. We appreciate the admirable quality of hers to be able to pen her thoughts so engrossing manner. We are sure the book is going to make for an interesting reading. We thank all the guests and well-wishers who are present here today and have made this function a memorable one for us. We thank the organizers of Ravindra Bharti for allocating this hall and our special thanks to the print and electronic media for coming forward to cover this event. Last but not the least, I thank Ms. Amulya and all the members of the Aero team who have played a key role in making this event a grand success. Once again, our hearty thanks to all. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. So it was lovely to see all of you today. Thank you so much for supporting the event. The book is now available for sale and it costs only 150 rupees. So as our author already told us, all the proceeds will be going to uh, Ashray Akriti. So this is an NGO which provides special education, health and vocational training to address the needs of people with disability. So as the book price is very nominal, I urge all of you to buy more than one book, gift it to your friends, family and uh, be part of the good cause. Thank you. So, uh, before we all disperse, please stand up for the national anthem. Huh? to wait so that uh, the compare of the program is also honored just a minute please thank you so much madam 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 madam
Mamulia, your host for today. So our chief guest, G. Srinivas Rao Garu, is held in an important meeting in the CM's office. He asked us to start the program. So let's begin our evening. So I'm pleased to welcome you all on behalf of Arrow Publications Private Limited to this momentous occasion to release Dr. Haima Murthy's book entitled The Pandemic Panorama. I thank you all for consenting to our request and making time to attend this event. So before we start this program, I request you all to keep your phones on silent mode. <laughs> Taking our evening forward, on behalf of everyone present here, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome uh, our dignitaries, Sri M. V. Krishna Rao Garu, Sri Ramu Sarma Garu, Sri C. V. Subha Rao Garu, our author, Dr. Haima Murthy Garu, Dr. Uh, Mohandas Garu, and Mr. Krishna Murthy Garu for lighting of the lamp. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. So, though our dignitaries do not require any introduction and are well known across public spectrum, Pan India, I'm privileged to introduce them all. Firstly, it's a great pleasure for me to welcome M. V. Krishna Rao Garu. M.V. Krishna Rao is a Hello. 1974 batch IPS officer belonging to AP Cadre. He worked as a commissioner of police, Visakhapatnam, from 1991 to 1993 and Hyderabad in 2002 and 2003. He also worked as director of AP Police Academy, APA of United AP, from 1993 to 1998, managing director of APS RTC from 2004 to 2006 and retired in 2010 as Director General of SSB, which guards the Indo-Nepal and Indo-Bhutan border. He has had an illustrious career of 37 years in the Indian Police Service. Since then, he has been teaching internal security at several training and coaching institutes all over India. 
now i request mr p srinivas rao director aro publications private Rim limited to present him a bouquet Now, I would like to introduce our guest of honor, Sri Ramu Sarma. Safe and soft spoken, Ramu Sarma is a journalist with over four decades of experience. Starting his career in New Delhi, he has worked with various reputed dailies, both English and vernacular. He started his career with the Janmabhumi Group of Mumbai, based at Delhi, and then worked with English papers like The Hindu and The Times of India in various capacities. His passion to take challenges in life made him switch over to the Hans India English newspaper when it was launched in Hyderabad in 2011 as its political editor. He has shown his grit in exclusive coverage during the agitation for separate Telangana. He, along with his team, had given the best of the coverage. After taking over as the editor of Hans India, he had shown his versatility in bringing several changes which has helped the paper to make a mark of its own in the market as a major English paper. Now, I request Mr. G. Subarao, Director, Arrow Publications Private Limited, to present our guest of honor, a bouquet. Thank you, sir. Now, I would like to introduce a special invitee, Mr. C. V. Subarao Garu. Mr. C. V. Subarao completed his MBA from Andhra University in 1978 and joined the Administrative Staff College of India as a management consultant. With his passion towards journalism, he has worked with several leading publishing houses like Enado, Udayam, and the Indian Express in various capacities. Currently, he is the editor and managing director of books with the support of government of Andhra Pradesh. Also, he has coordinated various U.S. programs with chief ministers of Andhra Pradesh and organized several religious events like the Tirupati Srinivasa Kalyanams, Anavaram Satyanarana Swami Kalyanams, and uh, Badrachalam Sita Rama Kalyanams across United States. Currently, he is the advisor of temples and arriving endowments department government of Andhra Pradesh. Now, I request Mr. C.H. Suresh, Director, Andro, uh, Aru Publications Private Limited, to present a special invitee, a bouquet. Also, I request Mr. N. Ravindra, Regional Manager, Marketing, Aro Publications Private Limited, to present the bouquet to our author, Dr. Haima Murthy. Also, Mr. D. <laughs> now, I request Mr. C. V. B. Krishna, Managing Director, Arrow Publications Private Limited, to give the welcome address. Thank you, sir. Good evening to all the dignity guests. Sri M. B. Krishna Rao Garu, IPS retired Director General, Seema Sikshabal, Sri Ramu Sharma Garu, Chief Editor, Hans India, Hyderabad, Sri C. V. Subbaru Garu, Advisor, Temples NIRA Wing, Government of Andhra Pradesh, Vijayawada, and our other Dr. Haima Muthi Garu. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, I would in this regard, I would like to express my appreciation for Dr. Haima Murthy for writing this book. Hearty congratulations, Dr. Haima man. We are indeed 
happy to have contributed to the publication of this book. Dr. Haima Murthy and Arrow Publications have shared a beautiful relationship for many years. In fact, my association with Dr. Haima Murthy began right from the time my daughter Amulya, who, is, who was her student in Gitanjali school. Many years Amulya, your host for today. So our chief guest, G. Srinivas Rao Garu, is held in an important meeting in the CM's office. He asked us to start the program. So let's begin our evening. So I'm pleased to welcome you all on behalf of Arrow Publications Private Limited to this momentous occasion to release Dr. Haima Murthy's book entitled The Pandemic Panorama. I thank you all for consenting to our request and making time to attend this event. So before we start this program, I request you all to keep your phones on silent mode. <laughs> Taking our evening forward, on behalf of everyone present here, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome uh, our dignitaries, Sri M.V. Krishna Rao Garu, Sri Ramu Sarma Garu, Sri C.V. Subha Rao Garu, our author, Dr. Haima Murthy Garu, Dr. Homanda, uh, Mohandas Garu, and Mr. Krishna Murthy Garu for lighting of the lamp. Thank 
Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. So, though our dignitaries do not require any introduction and are well known across public spectrum, Pan India, I'm privileged to introduce them all. Firstly, it's a great pleasure for me to welcome M. V. Krishna Rao Garu. M. V. Krishna Rao is a 1974 batch IPS officer belonging to AP Cadre. He worked as a commissioner of police, Visakhapatnam, from 1991 to 1993, and Hyderabad in 2002 and 2003. He also worked as director of AP Police Academy, APA of United AP, from 1993 to 1998, managing director of APS RTC from 2004 to 2006, and retired in 2010 as director general of SSB, which guards the Indo-Nepal and Indo-Bhutan border. He has had an illustrious career of 37 years in the Indian Police Service. Since then, he has been teaching internal security at several training and coaching institutes all over India. Now, I request Mr. P. Srinivas Rao, Director, Arrow Publications Private Limited, to present him a bouquet. Now, I would like to introduce our guest of honor, Sri Ramu Sarma. Safe and soft spoken, Ramu Sarma is a journalist with over four decades of experience. Starting his career in New Delhi, he has worked with various reputed dailies, both English and vernacular. He started his career with the Janmabhumi Group of Mumbai, based at Delhi, and then worked with English papers like The Hindu and The Times of India in various capacities. His passion to take challenges in life made him switch over to the Hans India English newspaper when it was launched in Hyderabad in 2011 as its political editor. He has shown his grit in exclusive coverage during the agitation for separate Telangana. He, along with his team, had given the best of the coverage. After taking over as the editor of Hans India, he had shown his versatility in bringing several changes which has helped the paper to make a mark of its own in the market as a major English paper. Now, I request Mr. G. Subarao, Director, Arrow Publications Private Limited, to present our guest of honor, a bouquet. Thank you, sir. Now, I would like to introduce a special invitee, Mr. C. V. Subarao Garu. Mr. C. V. Subarao completed his MBA from Andhra University in 1978 and joined the Administrative Staff College of India as a management consultant. With his passion towards journalism, he has worked with several leading publishing houses like Enado, Udayam and the Indian Express in various capacities. Currently, he is the editor and managing director of Telugu Times, a global newspaper started in 2003, printed in San Francisco and distributed across the United States. Apart from Telugu Times, to inculcate Telugu language to the NRI Telugu children, he started Patasala Telugu Books with the support of Government of Andhra Pradesh. Also, he has coordinated various U.S. programs with chief ministers of Andhra Pradesh and organized several religious events like the Tirupati Srinivasa Kalyanams, Anavaram Satyanarana Swami Kalyanams and uh, Badrachalam Sita Rama Kalyanams across United States. Currently, he is the advisor of Temple's NRI Wing Endowments Department, Government of Andhra Pradesh. Now, I request Mr. C.H. Suresh, Director, Andrew, uh, Aru Publications Private Limited, to present a special invitee, a bouquet. <laughs> a 
also i request mr n ravindra regional manager marketing aro publications private limited to present the bouquet to our author dr haima moti Also, Mr. D. P. K. Babu, Director, Ashray Akriti, will present a bouquet to Haima Ma'am. Now I request Mr C V B Krishna managing director Arrow Publications Private Limited to give the welcome address Thank you, sir. Good evening to all the distinguished guests. Sri M V Krishna Rao Garu, I P S Retired Director General, Sima Siksha Bal, Sri Ramu Sharma Garu, Chief Editor, Hans India Hyderabad, Sri C V Subbaru Garu, Advisor, Temples N I R V, Government of Andhra Pradesh, Vijayawada, and our other Dr. Haima Muthi Garu. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, I would like to welcome a warm welcome to all of you. I am C V B Krishna, Managing Director, Aero Publications Private Limited, Hyderabad. Aero Publications Private Limited is one of the leading publishers of school test books that has set a trend in the market with its learner-friendly books in all subjects since its inception in 2000. It is indeed a matter to pride for Team Aero to be here today for the release of the book, The Pandemic Panorama, penned by Dr. Haima Murthy. In, in this regard. I would like to express my appreciation for Dr. Haima Murthy for writing this book. Hearty congratulations, Dr. Haima Man. We are indeed happy to have contributed to the publication of this book. Dr. Haima Murthy and Aero Publications have shared a beautiful relationship for many years. In fact, my association with Dr. Haima Murthy began right from the time my daughter Amulya, who was her student in Gitanjali School. Many years later, when I, along with my team, was making humble beginning in the publishing industry, we came into contact with Dr. Haima Murthy. Again, we have shared a special bond. Since then, during the making of our life skills, think beyond, Dr. Haima Murthy played a very important role by helping us in editing the books and also giving her valuable suggestions. We are indeed fortunate to have her support, and we hope to have. an everlasting association with her i express my gratitude on behalf of aero team for having been given this opportunity to contribute to the publication of this book the pandemic panorama we hope the book wins laurels and applause everywhere we wish you all the best madam thank you thank you sir Now let's move ahead to the most awaiting moment of this evening. I request Mr. M V Sharma, uh, M V Krishna Garu, to uh, to launch our author's book, The Pandemic Panorama. <laughs>
Thank you. So before, before our author, Dr. Haima Muti, provides us the genesis of the book, I want to say a few words to you. So my association with her goes back to my school days when I was a student and she was my teacher. I still fondly remember her Shakespeare's uh, Julius Caesar sessions. And uh, also one of the many memories I have with her, she shared an incident with us when she handled accords in a moving bus. She's a very brave woman. So. <laughs> So during my school days, I never imagined that I would be, I would have the honor to be part of her book release event. So it's a very nice opportunity for me. Thank you, ma'am. So I request you to speak about the book, ma'am. Uh, our serious Dr. G. Srinivas Rao Garu is not here, but I start with Sri M. V. Krishna Rao Garu. Sri Ramu Sharma Garu, Sri C. V. Subharao Garu, Sri C. V. B. Krishna Garu, and the esteemed audience, good evening to one and all. I have my great friends here, my colleagues, everybody is here. I'm so happy to receive you all. Thank you so much for coming for the book release. Now, Mark Twain once suggested three tips for an effective speech. He said, be good, be brief and be seated. And then I was wondering how it is possible to be seated and give a speech and hear your own speech. Then I recollected Albert Einstein's snippet. Albert Einstein, once he won the Nobel Prize for his theory of relativity, he has been invited, he was invited to all places. He was traveling far and wide to many universities, to many seminars, everywhere. And I think he has spent two months almost traveling and traveling. So one day while traveling to attend a university meeting, he told his driver, I'm really fed up of this moving and speaking the same thing for the last so many days. I just feel like sitting in the audience and listen to my own speech. Then the driver said, don't think it is impossible. It is possible. He said, how? He says, I've been traveling with you for the last so many days. And I have hearted your speech. Now you be in the audience. I will deliver the lecture. <laughs> so finally, they made the agreement. And then our great scientist was in the audience. And our duplicate was on the stage. And he successfully delivered the speech. And afterwards, of course, where you all know, whenever there are sessions, there will be questioning from the professors. So one of the well-known professor, he gets up and he asks a question. And uh, our driver said, oh, it's such a simple question. My driver in the audience will answer your question. <laughs> and that, I was reminded of this snippet. And I said, it's best that I don't try those things to be on the safe side. So I thought, okay, let me deliver something. So that is what it is. And anyway, coming to my genesis of the book, it's nothing uh, special or anything. We all know we were going through a bad phase of pandemic. It was in the March, month of March. And uh, I am as such a restless person. My colleagues know, my Mrs. Sukumara knows more than anybody else. I'm a restless person. And I was totally restless. I didn't know what to do. So I started calling people. I said, uh, let me find out what people are doing. So I called a few people, little elderly. I don't call them old because I am also counted as old. So I don't call them old. They're elderly people and youngsters also because this is all work from home culture at that time. And uh, I came to know that the impact of the pandemic or the it was more on the women at that time because there was no help from anywhere no outside help and ladies who are working in IT sectors and other places 
they have worked from home, they open their shop at 8 o'clock and close at 8 o'clock in the house. And added to that, you all know, most of the ladies will know, it is the husband and the children at home. Okay, so their, jo their job is doubled up. They're so, some of the ladies told me, youngsters, that it's becoming very difficult. So when I heard all those things, I thought, why not I put, up, put these thoughts into writing? So the first article that I wrote, because I never thought I'll write something. I can teach, I can do anything, but not writing, I never thought of it. Also. But then I thought, okay, let me put them into words, and then when to put them into words, suddenly in the middle of the night, one day I got up at 12 o'clock, I said, let me write something. I have decided, and I patted myself, yes, you can do, go ahead. So I sat and completed this, the superwoman, the first article that I wrote, by 4, 4.30, and I post it in all platforms that are available to me, Facebook, media, WhatsApp, and all messages, mail and all, and I post it. Then, of course, you always wait for rewards and appreciation and everything. So I was eagerly waiting, not sleeping, how many likes I get for that, how many people will comment, give nice comments. So I got comments. And then some of them told me that why you wrote about youngsters, you think yourself as a youngster? I said, no, I don't think myself as a youngster, so let me write for elderly people also. Then my second article after three, four days was the senior citizens. Because that time, if you all remember, the scared lot was the senior citizens, because people were telling, don't go out, if you go out, you will die. This is the only thing that was being told. So anyway, I wrote an article about senior citizens and then slowly I thought, anything? Anything there? Nothing. Okay. So slowly I thought, I will put my words into thoughts and I thought I will make it as a hobby to write. But then that hobby became a habit for me later. After every three days there was always itching. So I thought I should write something. So I continued writing. I started going to the past, coming to the present, relating the past, present, and everything I started writing. Some of the articles were placed, were written based on the activities of that particular day. Like I have written Arjun, the Savyasachi. Okay, and that was because it was the uh, 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 Prime Minister dedicated MBT Arjun Tank to the nation. And I know what I went through when Arjun Tank was in the process of making. My husband was totally involved in that. And I was all alone with my two kids in there other than managing so many things. So the instincts that I wrote in all the articles are close to my heart and they happened with me. So this is. But when I'm writing or when I'm talking about my articles, I think it's very important for me to tell about the work, the pandemic work I have done because they're, they run parallel to each other. First, after writing one or two articles, I felt that there are so many people who are in need of our help. So somebody has to take the lead. So I am not the person to look back to see somebody is following me or not. I go ahead. If I fall, I'll fall. Otherwise, no. I'll go ahead. So I just thought, why not I start collecting something to help these migrant labor, unorganized sector people. So first I thought I'll start with my with my, the residents of my building, Meghamala, where I stay. So I started, I sent a message, WhatsApp message, and I spoke to some of them. But they were all good, they all contributed, whatever is at home, the dry ration that is to be given. So they all contributed, and I never expected that it's going to be so much. I think the ration that was contributed by them came to at least 60 migrant labor we could supply. Then, thank you. But then I have to tell you, this, it was a serious lockdown time and this material has to reach the right person. So I came across, because I have a big network, I maintain a network. I know somebody who is doing this no food waste director, he hasn't come today, Mr. Venkat Morley. So he has the permission from the government to take the vehicle, go to these places. So I called him up, he came, he collected and he has taken all these things. So slowly. Then I approached my students, I approached my friends, I approached my cousins, my relatives. And of course, I have a bank at home. Whenever I'm short of money, I used to take from my husband. So all those things we started supplying to everybody. And I think uh, we have helped at least 5,000 people in this pandemic. As a... Thank you. 
and this started from April 3rd, 2020 to August 30, 2021, my writing of the articles and slowly along with this. Still I'm continuing with social work because we are taking care of cancer patients pediatric cancer patients in some of the hospitals, still I'm cutting. Then some of the articles that are connected to the past, I would like to mention, I have already mentioned about then lone survivor. It's about a flower I wrote, but then I think you all should read it. It is related, I related it to the soldiers and then how a flower wishes. That is what I have written about it. And then uh, now next. Uh, then uh, after writing these articles and all, uh, I told you I'm a restless person, then I approached Mr. Krishna. He was kind enough to compile all these things and he said, Madam, we'll go ahead with the book and he went ahead with the book and today the, bo the articles are seeing the light of the day. I'm so thankful to him and I'm grateful to him also. And uh, I must thank Venkatesh, whom we fondly call Venki, where are you Venkatesh? Come, 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 get up, get up, get up, get up. Come. He is the one actually for the cover page, for the pictures that are there in the book, for compiling and everything. Of course, I went and sat with him. I used to be a little annoyed also, sorry for anything, Venki. So anyway, he was the one behind all these things. And then, at the third person I should thank is for what I am today, if I am standing here and able to talk to you all, it is thanks to my husband. He, he encouraged me for everything that I have been doing. And sometimes I come out with crazy ideas, but he, is, he always says, okay, go ahead, go ahead. But then of course later he says, don't go ahead. That is a different thing. <laughs> but anyway, so he was always, because when I got married, I was only a science graduate. If I'm a doctorate today, it is all because of him, because he, today I want to tell that he, all, I, he always says that I don't give credit to him for anything. Today, in front of everybody, I'm giving, come, come, come. <laughs> I am giving credit to him for everything. Because recently, Mr. Ramu Sharma must be knowing, I wrote an article in the newspaper, Hans India, about social responsibility, the need of the hour. In that I mentioned that why should always be a woman behind a man? Here is this example that there is a man behind a woman. For, for success. And I would like to tell you all that the sale proceeds of the book go to an NGO which is very close to my heart, Ashray Akriti, an NGO for hearing impaired and the NGO is very close to my heart. So I just wanted to announce that that all the sale proceeds will go to that NGO only. Now, now there are certain things that I learned from the pandemic. Most of us might have learned because life is uncertain. Rich, poor, whichever religion you are, we were at the mercy of God. And this is what, what I learned was that don't look for anybody, whether anybody is doing something or not. Whatever you want to do, go ahead. Because there is a lot of scarcity and misery in the world. We all have to come forward. If you put one step forward, there will be 20 steps following you. This is what I have learned from the pandemic. And try and spread as far as possible. You may not give anything, money need not be. But smiles and happiness is what is required, at least as long as we are going through this pandemic. And I think every one of us should accept that social responsibility of helping people. More than that, we follow our own nature. Don't look at anybody, whether somebody is doing or not. What is your nature, what is given by nature to you as nature has to be followed. For this, I just want to tell you a small story. Uh, we all have sadhus and sannyasis sitting at the bank of a river and doing puja and meditation and all those things. So we have a series of sadhus sitting and, uh, and uh, near the pond. And then one of these sadhus, after, while doing meditation, he opens his eyes and sees then there is a scorpion in the water that is struggling to come out. So the sadhu, he goes and helps the scorpion, takes it out, puts it on the bank of the river. While he was putting it on the bank of the river, it stings him. Okay. Then of course, he says, okay, fine. And again, 
when he was in meditation he opens his eyes again the, the scorpion is in the water he again goes and takes and like this it happens four or five times and then one of the sadhus who was meditating and he opens his eyes and he says are you not ashamed or you not are you don't you have any sense to help this scorpion so many times it is stinging you so many times. he says stinging is its its nature saving is my nature so let us follow our natures let us do and then keep smiling keep helping keep working and then remember one thing age is only just a number so keep working the woods are lovely dark and deep but i have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep thank you so much <laughs>
are broadly categorized into two during the lockdown period and post lockdown that is called unlockdown so and i don't know whether she herself gave these titles or there was some kind of an editorial assistance but excellently title first of all when you read them you will realize that though the 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 ambience at the time she wrote was extremely tragic it's the worst of times after the spanish flu 100 years ago this was the worst the ever the world ever saw and uh, many of us lost our friends classmates relatives well known people not so well known but during that time also when she could uh, uh, transfer her thoughts into words there is a streak of humor it's not completely serious nor is it uh, extremely depressing the topic is interesting stimulating the ambience the times during which it was written of course uh, is somewhat uh, tragic and depressing so i was uh, quite uh, uh, surprised the superwoman and senior citizens anyway that is i being one of the oldest probably the oldest in this room so i have been advised i continue to be advised by everybody known to me as to how many different uh, uh, alums and uh, Uh, jela karra and all that i should eat to ac- acquire immunity and how i should walk uh, take 10000 steps every day uh, and things like that but in addition to that i like this ramayana revisited as you know out of boredom uh, many people when uh, the government of india took a decision to retelecast the original ramayana which was uh, produced by ramanan sagar a very great uh, uh, producer of uh, films generally but this particular one um, really was uh, so impressive i still remember that young sita who later became an mla or mp i don't remember from gujarat very slim and all that so and the rama also always bare chested with a nice v shaped body uh, no paunch so um, that was re telecast so there is a nice piece on that and of course there is another somewhat uh, depressing one but about an engineering graduate delivering um, provisions or what do you call them groceries to her of course at that time she didn't know he was an engineering graduate but during uh, such times uh, nobody bothers about what you are or what you were what are your education qualifications so you have uh, um, many jobs wiped off so the only jobs that are available are this swiggy kind of what is called the gig economy i want something to be delivered thank god amazon who continued to work at the time that is the time i learned how to book uh, anything on amazon uh, frazo did not exist uh, in the initial part but swiggy zomato they all existed and guys like me became tech savvy so the delivery person when it is delivered we don't question him as to what is his educational qualification is it okay we take and i don't normally tip anybody but she i don't know gave 2500 rupee notes to that delivery boy he was a young boy uh, maybe still studying engineering or something so he like a fool did not spend that 500 to 1000 rupees to 500 notes and uh, in the post pandemic era maybe in end of 2002 one uh, he called up and said i still every day look at it as a motivation so it is at that time that accidentally he reveals the fact that he was an engineering graduate of course uh, our haima got uh, uh, extremely shocked by this revelation and she felt very sorry and she says her husband will vouch for it that she had to collapse in a sofa uh, whether it she did collapse or not no, ah uh, acha <laughs> <laughs> coming as she does from a very very brave family every member of uh, she has a younger sister dr jyoti in california very brave so her own uh, elder brother vyas is a very brave person known is is uh, 
the bravest policeman I ever saw. So uh, she has those genetic uh, build up. So uh, she was about to collapse, but she didn't. Anyway, another nice article, uh, another piece, is about a father, Narasimham Garu, whom I knew rather intimately. Uh, he was a headmaster of uh, a government uh, school or college, a government school, or a very uh, brilliant academician. So reading or rereading about him, and uh, that too in this in this bundle is something uh, that's on. She wrote it on a Father's Day. Of course, uh, when we were born, there were no Father's Days, nor were there any Husbands' Days. Do we have any Husbands' Days nowadays? We have, I think, a Women's Day or something like that. But husbands are yet to get a day for themselves. Be that as it may, I was very very happy to read about the great uh, late Narsimham Garu. Uh, her mother is a writer. Her mother, Kamala Devi Garu, is a writer. So, but I don't know whether Narsimham Narsim Garu wrote anything. He wrote a Indian citizenship. Achha, achha, Indian citizenship. Achha, Indian citizenship. Maybe on the constitutional video or something like that. Or be that as it may, uh, this uh, ability to teach, she must have imbibed basically from her father. He was a brilliant teacher. A brilliant teacher and uh, so uh, now I realize what a great teacher she, was, she must have been. I was never a student, having been born a good 15 years before her. But uh, she must have, uh, that's why this tall lady got impressed. <laughs> and normally we all get impressed by our teachers because we are young and impressionable. But fortunately we outgrow them. So then uh, we no longer, uh, having seen many others, we no, no longer have that, that kind of a, an iconic image, oh, my teacher so-and-so did, oh, he was so brilliant. There are more brilliant people in this world, and, but uh, they, they, they have their own little places in this, this world of ours. So having said that, I have, I think, exceeded much more than the time allotted to me. This started half an hour late. Come what may, it should have ended, or it should end at 8.30. It's 7.30, so I must give an opportunity for all the remaining people to share their views. Thank you for a very patient uh, listening. And I wish uh, Dr. Hamagaru, I am not a doctor, I don't have a PhD, I'm a very ordinary guy. But Dr. Hamagaru, thanks to the cooperation from her husband, uh, she did become a PhD. So I, I hope uh, many more uh, such pieces would flow out of your pen or your word processor. <laughs> did, did you write this uh, uh, pen and paper or did you type it on a word processor? To be honest, I used to sit and do it on the mobile. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, anyway, she got used to handling these devices and uh, therefore she is fit to maybe uh, produce some more like this. May God bless her with many more creative works and God bless you all for a patient with me. Thank you. Thank you so much sir for your kind words. Now I request V. Ramu Sarma Garu to please talk. Dignitaries on the dais and dignitaries of sitting on the other side of the dais. Very good evening to you. At the outset, I will say, please buy this book yeah. and read it. Yeah. Why I'm saying, why I'm asking you to buy this book is, as she said, the proceedings will go for a very good cause. And more than that, these days, the habit of reading books has gone down. But since all of us, all of us who are senior citizens or elderly people who, as she said, are sitting here, I think it's time we revive the concept of educating our grandchildren you know, by narrating different kind of stories. Earlier, when I was a small kid and all of us were you know, that age probably, our grandmothers or mothers used to narrate stories at bedtime. Now that habit is no more. The children don't, the, our children don't have time to give, tell stories, to narrate stories to their children. Everyone is busy on their computers, IT sector, this, that, that. And uh, from morning till evening they are on sitting behind the computers getting spondylitis and all kinds of diseases. So it is time we revive this habit of narrating stories because the children, the, the present day children, they are lacking behind in 
sort of they're getting all kinds of information on mobile. My granddaughter is much faster in handling the mobile than me. She even uh, do all kinds of editing on the of the pictures and all those things which I don't know. So, but if you if you ask them to narrate some story, to give some kind of uh, you know uh, some examples or something like that from Ramayana or Mahabharata or something. Sorry, they don't know anything. They'll talk about Jack and Jill. They'll talk about anything. They'll they'll talk about the comedy, the videos that are coming on the YouTube. Videos of say some some American programs. They start speaking an American accent, but they don't learn Telugu. I've seen many people who say Ma Pillal ke Telugu raadandi, as if it's a great thing, great achievement. See, even I I was born and brought up in Delhi. I studied in Bharti Vidya Bhavan, which is an English medium school. All my friends were Gujaratis. I didn't know how to read or write Telugu at that time because I never had a subject. One day, my father was a writer, so my mother asked me, "Nikhi, postkan saadaram hotsa?" I said, "Radu." She said, "Sigule da." I said, "What can I do? Nobody has taught me." She said, "Kuchh ne nirpisa," and she taught me alphabets. That's all. After that, I picked up on my own. Today. Okay. Today I can point out mistakes in Telugu. I may commit lots of mistakes while writing. That's a different thing. But I can point out mistakes in Telugu. So that is how we have got to teach our youngsters, the children, and more so the, the the responsibility now is more on the grandmothers and grandfathers, because as I said, the parents have no time. Now coming to this book, it was really interesting because, I, I, like Krishna Garu said, I also had an opportunity to go through this before the release. as he in fact i wanted to quote that story which he has already quoted about the engineer it's fantastic the the way people had to survive the people had to struggle and since we also while running the newspaper we also saw how, what kind of problems people were facing and uh, even in our own organization we had lots of people facing this problem so we had to work out so many you know logistics and see that the paper survives the people survive in many organizations people were sacked fortunately we did not do that kind of a thing similarly there is another story in this again he mentioned about it i wanted to say that that was about the alternative medicine it was very very interesting as he said many people have been telling me also that you take these capsules of uh, uh, neem capsules of uh, turmeric it will boost your immunity i did try also to be very frank i did <laughs> so all these things were there it's a very interesting uh, kind of story small small stories if we can narrate such stories to the youngsters you know it will change bring a, a phenomenal change in their thinking which is not there these days we have to bring it back we have to bring that line of thinking back and uh, see that the society prospers that is why i said we all of us should buy this book read because for two reasons one the, the stories are simple in very simple language which even a small child can understand and uh, they're very interesting very interesting it's not a big 500 page novel where you go on reading 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 and somewhere you forget what you read earlier it's not like that so i wish her all the best and uh, if my association with her is very recent one day she suddenly suddenly walked into my office she said i'm so and so and uh, i have a passion for writing i am writing certain articles and all these things is there anything i can do for your paper i said most welcome you can write something for the youngsters we have a page called young hans she said you can always write for us something that will help the students something that is of uh, um, what shall i say some kind of uh, you know since she was a teacher i thought it was better if she write something on education right from standard 10 upwards right up to ias ips and all those things competitive exams she has been writing and to my surprise uh, two two or three days before the republic day she sent some articles that was about uh, her brother interestingly at the same time i got some some another author who wrote a, something about agriculture so we brought out on the edit page saying jay jawan jay kisan <laughs> so that is how my association started with her she has been writing for us 
same simple language and uh, it's very interesting so uh, i once again recommend all of you buy this book thank you thank you so much sir now i request cv subarao garu to please say a few words good evening everybody uh guests on the dais uh, ami krishna rao garu ram sharma garu head of obligations md bal krishna garu and host today amulya and all the guests a warm welcome good evening to all of you uh, there are a lot of uh, surprises actually when uh, ms krishna asked me to come to this function and he said pandemic panorama uh, i thought uh, is going to be i was because myself i am an editor of a telugu newspaper telugu times which is a publisher from san francisco last 19 years so in the last two years even though i was going through the pandemic like every one of you i was also going through a lot of uh, reading lot of articles and all those things they are very scientific very very tough to understand forget reading this is also that kind of a book i thought when i saw the book yes like i was also given the book in advance when i saw the book then there are interesting readings then it was then i realized yes there, there something different when i came we were discussing when i were taking the coffee should we wear the mask because it's a pandemic panorama the uh, book release so yes we should wear the mask then when dr shrinivas rao gar is not coming then i thought we we need not wear it <laughs> so all surprises when i saw a white paper pasted on this side other photo on the side maybe the chief guest photo is not coming though pasted it <laughs> <laughs> oh the arrow is really smart i thought <laughs> when i realized it's a book uh, book is in right uh, well uh, friends uh, corona really taught a uh, different way of life actually the new normal world itself is a new invention we realized that this is not normal but we accepted it is as normal life this is a normal when the lot of writings happened mostly on on the disease and the medicines the lots of lots of uh, articles came uh, about the disease how it came how it will come how it will go all those things and the various kind of medicines then there are articles books about the government functioning how they take the decisions or whatever the infrastructure uh, whether we have sufficient uh, 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 beds are we have sufficient to oxygen oxygen supplies those kind of articles are there then we have about ngos how they are working there then we have uh, warriors covid warriors how people really come out from their houses and help other people all uh, that kind of thing then we also have seen the books or articles on uh, business economics how Uh, the business was shut down how every, everything everything but there are very few writings about some of the incidences some of the articles now i come to dr haima garu's book uh, uh, definitely it's a is a wonderful book uh, because she narrated small small incidents happened during the pandemic time in fact uh most see what an other other is not an inventor other writes she writes we know all those things we experienced it we saw it we heard it but now we are reading it because it happened all those things she listed out and put it as a nice interesting reading see this kind of books will motivate people will motivate it's not that we do not know yes we know what happened in the lockdown period uh, we know what happened post lockdown period but everywhere when we read the article given by her 
now we, we narrate our own experiences, our own feelings, our own thoughts, then it gives some kind of a feeling, some kind of a, uh, a thought process, yes, yes, this all happened. This is all the experience. We all went through that experience and she nicely narrated them and put them in an 80-page book. In fact, some of them, yeah, like senior surgeons, uh, you know, positivity, humanity, those are all wonderful, uh, interesting articles. And you know that it's not fiction. It's not a writing by a doctorate. It's, it's written about her own experience. It is our own experience. We have seen it. Then unlock e-learning, wonderful. Then a nightmare, yes. Everyone, even I, for example, I, I, I was really not very worried those days. Even though everybody was saying, I was going around, kind of thing. I thought, okay, if I get positive, COVID positive, maybe I have to quarantine for 14 days, that kind of thing. When I tested positive, myself, Mr. Krishna, we both went together. We both tested positive that day. <laughs> we thought, okay, it's no problem. Immediately in the next two hours, we designed our home, a quarantine room. I put everything, my laptop, my music system, everything, disposable plates, disposable glasses. I have a, a nephew who is a doctor. I told him casually, yes, I also got positive. I started my quarantine. He said, Mama, you have an oximeter? Yes. I said, good. I'm testing uh, 96. Why don't you walk in the same room for six minutes and see? I did it. Then it is fallen to 89. <laughs> then let us see one more time tomorrow morning. Then next day morning also I walked in the room. It, it came to 87. <laughs> then he said, Mama, you are uh, not supposed to take quarantine at home. You better get admitted. That's then started the nightmare. That's the day. <laughs> so it all happened to every one of us. Every one of us. And nicely, when we read this, we remember our own experiences, our own feelings, uh, the, the preventive medicine, yes, when the, both uh, the people, they have spoken about it, then whether vaccination, we are, are we vaccinated or not, that's again a debate, that's a wonderfully written, <laughs> wonderfully written, and <laughs> masked or unmasked, that's also another <laughs> very interesting, everything is very, very interesting, small, small, Articles, three page, two page articles. Read it nicely. Uh, you, know, you can happily read this book. Wonderfully written. I really uh, appreciate Dr. Haima Mutikaru for putting our thoughts into a nice reading. Uh, a nice reading for a common people. Everybody can read it. And uh, wonderful. Thank you so much. And I congratulate Arrow Publications uh, for publishing this book and also giving me an opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your nice words. Um, do anyone from the audience would like to say some few words about Hi, Ma'am, Ma or the book? Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am, please come. Yeah. Please still have Very good evening, and uh, I would like to first congratulate uh, Dr. Haima Murthy and also thank her for inviting me. Yesterday was a real threat in that she sent me. You lift the phone, and I'm not calling you for this. <laughs> so that's expected of uh, Dr. Haima. See, the association is so, I mean, our uh, bond is so much that uh, we can definitely command and demand, <laughs> no doubt about it. But yes, as uh, actually I'm from Gitanjali School and uh, we have worked together and amazing teacher. As a teacher, she was really, and especially when she just come down from, from Dehradun. Uh, 
and uh, it was i mean every child i don't think there would be any child who has learned under her has uh, said that uh, english is not good the way she has created that you know interest in every child is something which is uh, wonderful and yes i have known dr haima murthy for all the services that she is doing to her responsibility towards the society it is absolutely commendable yes and uh, the organization with whom she works the way she works towards it as she owns it and that is the bond that she has with every member of that organization so yes definitely more than anything else i think one has to think where the money is going to and it is for a cause and which uh, directly if you're not doing indirectly you must definitely uh, you know help out and as she said yes this pandemic has uh, it should have been actually a pandemic should have been a positive move towards uh, gaining lot of things uh, knowledge and that is what i think uh, uh, what she has done and uh, i was also not tech savvy but yes this was the time where the maximum learning happened and uh, definitely towards uh, i realized that that talent of uh, having contents formed into videos was something that i was doing for my department which i never expected that i would be able to do it but yes for all the members of my department mathematics department i used to i mean nobody can imagine videos made for students i mean they don't have to look at anything whether it is uh, even the problem solving was put into the video so that talent came only that you know we have to uh, not take it as a pandemic which is disturbing but we have to find opportunities in every problems uh, that we face is something that uh, i think that's how we are all together as friends because all of us have this thought uh, kala is there pravise there all of us make use of our time uh, positively in some way or the other i think uh, that is the best bond that we have and wishing dr haima and wanting to read the book first and foremost and uh, i was just thinking i need to take for my both the children uh, i thought yes your book will be motivating for all for my grandchildren definitely <laughs> and uh, hoping to see haima write more and more uh, and uh, we have more of these and a long association with uh, mr krishna uh i think i haven't seen a publisher and a person as a human being who is a wonderful person and uh, yes i too got an opportunity to write some things in my subject with yes and uh, editing and things like that but it was a wonderful association confidence in our subject you know actually that is uh, the opportunity that mr krishna had given so thank you so much uh, mr krishna for inviting thanks doctor thank you so much ma'am so really as ma'am said i don't think anyone can ever forget what thaima ma'am teaches <laughs> like we were the first batch when she came down from dehradun we were the first batch she got so attached to all of us i think everyone in our class are still in contact with her we were batch 2009 it's 2022 now so hi ma'am ma sessions are very good anyone else would like to talk one good evening all of you uh, i am grateful to dr haima for inviting me for this book release i have known her in two ways one is she has been the colleague of my wife who just spoke now my secondly i do run a small setup where i counsel the students 
in colleges and schools etc and in that activity which i undertook i requested her to help me out to conduct the program and we have visited a couple of schools in one place i distinctly remember she was very helpful and i really liked the brilliance which she showed and brought life to the activity which we undertook so that is the second occasion when i associated with her and as she said uh, i'll just briefly introduce myself i am colonel sukumaran i took voluntary retirement from the army some two and a half decades ago and then worked with icfai for almost uh, a decade i was the registrar of one of the associates of icfai then came out and launched my own small setup which i talked about besides this i have had the opportunity to undergo the pleasure or pain that she underwent in bringing out this book i also authored a book of this kind but i don't want to talk much about it it is about lighter side of life in the army and it was released by the cds the general bipin rawat who passed away in the recent past so i have had the opportunity to you know and frankly that is because not because of the greatness of the book it was basically because he and me were trained together in the indian military academy and that association you know it carried on and once a soldier always a soldier so that worked and i just dropped a mail to him my book is ready i uh, request you to just spend some time releasing it it took 15 days both of us had gone and got it released in the month of march so that is how the the book writing experience i you know i can understand i can you know the how what he went through there is a pain involved definitely but the pleasure that comes later is inexplicable you really find people writing back to you sending you you know very very motivating kind of uh, uh, write ups even speaking to you and you know it motivates you i have not gone through the book and now of course we will have the opportunity to go to go through the book like my wife said we will buy it for our grandchildren definitely and uh, we would also recommend to many people who i know her capability having seen her you know in action so definitely it will be a, a gift to the people to whom i recommend to buy this book uh, thank you so much and uh, i wish you all the very best for writing more uh, books of this kind and uh, uh, we will definitely try and you know see how this book this book can be given to other people as also uh, you know read all her articles in fact i came to know about her articles in hans and my wife told me there is some you know that is there are articles coming and i am very fond of reading so i saw that which you referred as the, the gentleman uh, from hans yeah yeah so i read that uh, article it was in circulation in the social media i believe so i read that also uh, i was mighty impressed and of course not surprised because i know her to that extent i also know her husband her his background and we been interacting not very frequently though so once again all the best, best to you uh, dr haima and thank you so much for the patient hearing thank you thank you so much sir anyone else would like to talk i request babu garu to say few words good evening everyone uh, sir cheparu i mean uh, he would do justice in english and telugu సో నేను ఎక్కువ తెలుగులో నేను మాట్లాడతాను నా మాతృభాష ఇది పాడిన్ మీ హైమామూర్తి గారు చెప్పాలంటే చాలా విశిష్టమైనటువంటి వ్యక్తి ఆవిడని కలవటం చాలా యాదృచ్ఛికంగా జరిగింది వాళ్ళ ఇంట్లో వాళ్ళ ఆవిడ ఉండేటువంటి ఇంటికి ఇంట్లోనే మా ఆడిటర్ కూడా ఉంటారు అంటే దగ్గరలో ఐ మీన్ అదే అపార్ట్మెంట్లో ఉంటారు సో ఆయన కలవటానికి వెళ్ళినప్పుడు ఒకరోజు లిఫ్ట్ ఆగిపోయింది 
ఆ లిఫ్ట్ అంటే లిఫ్ట్ డోర్ ఆగిపోయింది ఆగిపోయి నేను బయటకు వచ్చాను ఆవిడ ఇలా పీప్ చేసేసి మీరు డోర్ అది సరిగా వేయలేదని చెప్తాను అంటే నేను వెంటనే నేను బయటకు వచ్చి ఏమండి నేను లిఫ్ట్ అది బాగానే క్లోజ్ చేశానండి అది సరిగా పని చేయట్లేదు మోర్ ఓవర్ ఐఎమ్ ఆల్సో టీచర్ ఐ రన్ అ స్కూల్ ఫర్ చిల్డ్రన్ ఐ రన్ సెవెరల్ స్కూల్స్ ఐఎమ్ ఆల్సో డిసిప్లిన్ అటు అలా ఇంటరాక్షన్ అయింది ఆవిడికి నాకు ఓ అలా అయితే మీరు ఏ స్కూల్ రన్ చేస్తారన్నారు ఐ రన్ అన్ వాలంటీర్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఫర్ చిల్డ్రన్ విత్ డిసబిలిటీస్ అని చెప్పాను వెంటనే ఓ దెన్ ఐ వాంట్ వాలంటీర్ అన్నారు సరే ఈ ఏజ్లో ఐ మీన్ అంత చిన్న అంత అంటే చిన్న ఏజ్ అన్నారు కదండి సో ఇప్పట్లో ఈ ఇంజనీరింగ్ స్టూడెంట్ స్టూడెంట్స్ కానీ లేకపోతే గ్రాడ్యుయేట్స్ కానీ పోస్ట్ గ్రాడ్యుయేట్స్ కానీ టైం ఉన్న వాళ్ళే వాలంటీర్ చేయలేని వాళ్ళు ఆమె వచ్చి ఇన్వాల్వ్ కావటము సచ్ ఎ ప్రొయాక్టివ్ నేచర్ ఉండటము అండ్ దట్టు అప్పటి నుంచి ఆవిడ సీరియస్గా ఎంగేజ్ అయిపోయారు మా ఆర్గనైజేషన్లో షీ కమ్స్ అండ్ టీచర్స్ ఇంగ్లీష్ టు అవర్ టీచర్స్ Uh, she helps with our content and uh, and also she raises lots of resources especially financial resources for our nation from our friends relatives and especially uh, i would like to immensely thank uh, her friend uh, mrs kanya kumari and dr ramana rao garu so i mean not that because uh, she is helping uh, our organization ashraya kruti but uh, in general she is connected to no food waste she is connected to many other organization she uh, we did lot of covid relief work we supported uh, groceries to 25000 people through our organization so each kit containing 1500 rupees worth groceries babu garu me degar ivala 60 kits unnaya akad pampichedam antaru i found an organization which where there are 60 people who are uh, underprivileged women and children why don't you uh go give them so she make sure that they are being delivered they are being uh, handed over to the right people she she makes friends chapochu kadandi aa valla veedilo unde atuvanti vegetables amme vallu watchmens ee kalamlo evariki time undandi anta ante prathi okkaru vaari yokka status hoda ave chaala mukyam aavida babu garu i found a lady she required some uh, nin promise chesanu i will help you ani avada mrs maya sukumar ani chepparu kada she demands also ante my organization avadu toti ee aatmi anubandhanni memu konasage laga i mean i mean ee uh, relationship develop ayinanduku devuni nenu థ్యాంక్ చేస్తున్నాను అండ్ స్పెషలీ మిస్టర్ కృష్ణమూర్తి గారు చాలా గొప్ప సహకారం అందించారు డాక్టర్ హైమామూర్తి గారికి బుక్ రాయటం అంటే చాలా కష్టమైనటువంటి పని చాలా కష్టమైనటువంటి పని మా అందరం అనుకుంటాం కానీ అన్ని అన్ని చేయలేము ఇట్స్ 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 అ వెరీ కాంప్లికేటెడ్ థింగ్ లైక్ ఇట్స్ లైక్ పబ్లిక్ స్పీకింగ్ ఎంత కష్టం అలా బుక్ రాయటము అండ్ యూఆర్ మేకింగ్ ఎ పబ్లిక్ ప్లేట్ దట్ your ideas your thoughts ivanni kuda dr hema murthy garu chinna chinna tante vishayalu i mean inko speaker cheptunnaru manamu edaithe anubhavinchunnamo all of must all of us have, must have seen those things but penning it down and our memories ni malli manam kuda revisit cheyatamu avi avi chaala goppa anubhutulu i mean aero publications ki krishna garu ki i mean he is also uh, a donor to so ayaniki uh, congratulations మరొకసారి డాక్టర్ కృష్ణ డాక్టర్ హైమమూర్తి గారికి తర్వాత మిస్టర్ కృష్ణమూర్తి గారికి దేవుడు చక్కటి ఆరోగ్యాన్ని తర్వాత మరిన్ని బుక్స్ రాసేటువంటి శక్తిని మమ్మల్ని అందరినీ మేల్కొల్పేటువంటి సందేశాలతో ముందుకు రావాలని నేను కోరుకుంటున్నాను ధన్యవాదాలు సభాయై నమ గురవే సర్వోకాజే భవరోగిణే సర్వ విద్యా దక్షిణామూర్త నమ
నాకు హైమామూర్తి గారు నేను ఆవిడ కలిసి గీతాంజలి స్కూల్లో పనిచేశాను గీతాంజలి స్కూల్ ఫౌండేషన్ స్టోన్ వేశానండి నేను ముప్పై ఏడు సంవత్సరాల క్రితము బేగంపేటలో నూట ఎనభై రెండు మంది పిల్లలు లెవెన్ టీచర్స్ అండ్ వన్ ఎయిటీ టూ స్టూడెంట్స్ తోటి గీతాంజలి స్కూల్ స్టార్ట్ అయింది ఇన్ లెవెన్ టీచర్స్ ఐఎమ్ ద వన్ ఆఫ్ ద పర్సన్ సో టుడే వీ హ్యావ్ సిక్స్ బ్రాంచెస్ ఇస్ ఐ ప్రౌడ్లీ సే దట్ ఐ వర్క్ థర్టీ సెవెన్ ఇయర్స్ ఇన్ దట్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ యాజ్ ఎ తెలుగు టీచర్ there i met her she is my husband's elder sister yes so whether i am afraid of anybody or not but i am afraid of my sister in law <laughs> anything because the love and affection which she gives anything she will do immediately she will talk to me whether 10 o'clock at 11 o'clock she we has to talk to me she has to share with me everything all the incidents which are there in the book she has shared with me i i am really a fortunate person to hear all those things and whenever she is feeling little low she wanted the blessings immediately she will tell i will go to her and no the blessings is not i am giving is the guru will give the blessings she had such faith in me whatever work she will tell me and her brother that is my husband he will also he won't afraid of anything whichever i tell he never do anything but the sister will tell even the hands paper that's my husband her brother has introduced this and he has such respect towards her so my relationship is going like this whether i don't know what talents i have no that's what mrs sukumaran just now told when i was in the school also it's not that i know anything i used to go no i just share with the children not that i know everything actually my learning process still continue till my last breath because i don't know anything there is so much to learn so i am learning when i left the school when i retired from the school there are so many people are waiting outside this is what i told my sister in law she said yes there are so many are waiting so you have to reach them that is how she is to motivate me so and now i am no doing so many things teaching bhagavad gita it's bhagavad gita is something which you know people think it is a spiritual book no it is not it is encyclopedia of life is bhagavad gita it is every human being has to learn so this is in these matters she is to support me and whatever she wants she demand that's what they told no command and demand but my brother my elder brother by he sitting there i will tell you he so quietly smile chinna chirunavu nagutarandi nen akkadi intiki velthe kuda amma ela unnavu baagunnava ante aina lopaliki vellaaka she will talk to me with her voice like me but when annaya was sitting there she says but i tell you that is how the support will be always behind the curtain my brother will work otherwise she won't be here this i will tell you with it so much of daringly i am telling you she won't sit here if he won't work behind the curtain he won't show anything it's not only for her anybody he wants to help he will do behind the curtain even i will do things only behind the curtain only i never come for front and do the things so given me this opportunity i am so proud that i am associated with my sister in law god has given this sister in law and the brother to me <coughs> so i am very very fortunate to be associated with her any small things she shared with me she comes home i will go to her 
But that's what I'm telling you. I have to go to her house. You have to come. That's it. There is no choice for me. However hectic. Today, actually, program also, my husband has so many important work also. But he said, no, my akka will shout. Namma akka champa sadhanam. That is, it's not that fear or anything, the respect. I mean to say that. Then I said, no, we have to go. So that's how here. So congratulations, Sally. You have to do many more things like this. It's not a badnam. It's so much of love. We are telling this. It's not a badnam. Everybody won't do that. The demand and command. I must tell everyone, I'm born on Leo's side. Exactly. Exactly. But we always say, whatever, in the end, whatever she says, we have to say yes. That's it. We talk so many things, but in the end, we have to say yes to her. That will go on. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, ma'am. So one thing about Kala Bhaskar ma'am is in our school, Gitanjali school, no one will write an exam without taking her blessings. No one will go to the exam hall without her blessings. I think it, it continued from it till you were there in the school. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice ma'am. I request Mr. Krishnamurti Garu to please say a few words. <laughs> Please, sir. <laughs> <laughs> sir. Martyrs, five minutes, sir. See, there's nothing I can add to whatever all the friends here who are assembled have said about Haima, about her personality, about her passion for doing things, dedication, pushing things to the limit. I really, I've been associated now, we are married for almost 48 years, 40, 49 years, and I, every day she amazes me with new energy, new thoughts, new ideas. And after she retired from Gitanjali, she got associated with this Ashri Akriti. And I really don't know what she does there that makes people admire her. And my sister just <laughs> told a lot of good things about me. I don't deserve all that. She is probably mistaken. <laughs> I'm not. You ask Haima in private what such a bad fellow I am. <laughs> she will tell you. <laughs> so anyway, I... I have seen her struggling night on a mo uh, this one, mobile, she was typing her articles and I have told her so many times there is a computer, laptop lying, why don't you use that? No, no, I don't want to use that, this, that, I am comfortable using, I can do it in my time, my thing, I am not dependent on anyone. So that sense of independence, she doesn't want to depend on me for anything, for helping her with that word processor, formatting, spell check, I will do everything myself. So she struggled almost single-handedly and as she told herself, a lot of parallel activities were going on, relief work, this work, lot of uh, societal help, some student has a problem, some doctor has a problem, somebody has some medical uh, help they want the, her to refer her to some doctors. She has made a network of doctors, hospitals, teachers, I don't know what all, now Hans also is a new family she has adopted. So that capability, uh, I don't think I can, uh, I mean, possible for many people to emulate. Anyway, I'm very happy for her that people are finding her uh, work very useful to society and to generally things. But she gets very animated, all of you know that. Even when she looks, she, uh, listens to a TV discussion, I mean, she will be commenting equally about Arnab Goswami and what he's telling and why he's wrong and what he should be saying, what he should... So, I have to listen to her or to listen to the TV, I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, these are all snippets. I think most of you also must be facing in your lives in your own ways. 
but Kalabaskar Garu has given very positive report, which I don't deserve as far as I'm concerned. And I think Colonel Saab also Sukumaran <laughs> has told. I'm not such an active fellow because, you know, it's not my fault really. I worked very hard during my service in DRDO and uh, very often we used to be in field areas, desert areas, forest areas, ships, all that. So the day I retired, she told me you worked very hard. Now you don't, you relax, you don't do anything. So I'm seriously following whatever she told me. <laughs> so, so I sit and she just keeps on flitting. I'm going here, I'm going there, I have to do this, I have to do that. And then she will say, okay, I'm short by 25,000 rupees, I'm short by 17,000 rupees. Okay, what will you do? It makes you happy, it's fine. So she's very happy when she goes out. I'm also very happy when she goes out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so and that is how life goes on. So let's see how long we can carry like, on like this. Anyway, thanks to all her well-wishers, our friends, all the good people who have come here for encouraging us, her. And I also hope that she comes out with more articles, more creativity. She tried at hand at many, many arts, painting, and then what else? Dancing, music, so a lot of things. But I think finally she has found her niche in this particular area. So I hope she continues. And maybe as Ramu Garu said, or Krishna Garu said about Telugu, I think she should write in Telugu also because she belongs to a very distinguished family. Toru? So I think she should keep up that uh, tradition and try her hand at Telugu also because as Ramu Garu said, we have forgotten Telugu. I myself have never studied Telugu because I was schooled in Dehradun. But for some curious reason, I don't know how. I know how to read, but I don't know how to write <laughs> uh, Telugu. So that is how things are. Anyway, once again, thanks to all of you for coming and gracing the occasion and encouraging Haima, which uh, will keep her very happy for many days. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Please. I would like to say a few words. In her speech, Maya Madam told about digitalization of the content. Here, before pandemic, Arrow publication doesn't have any idea about digital content. After going through all the, passing through the pandemic period, our company has changed our way and we have produced more than 1250 videos on different <laughs> subjects and with that we are now catering to all the schools. Thank you very much. Thank you all the dignitaries and all the audience for such kind words. We got to know a lot about Hi Ma'am Ma today. So uh, now let's move forward. It's time to felicitate our guests. I request the directors of Arrow Publications Private Limited to please come onto the stage and uh, give our guests the momentous.
Thank you everyone. With this warm and affectionate felicitation, we will end our program with a vote of thanks. I request Mr. N. Ravindra to please give the vote of thanks. Distinguished dignitaries, respected author, invitees, and friends, a very good evening to you all. On behalf of Arrow team, I express my sincere thanks to Sri M. V. Krishna Rao Garu for having presided over this event, and we thank him for such a beautiful review of. Dr. Haima Muthi's book. We feel privileged to have Sri V. Ramu Sarmagaru as a guest of honor. As you rightly said, that we have to revive the reading habit so as to bring change in the thinking process. We are delighted to have C. V. Subarao Garu amongst us. We thank him for his continued guidance to Arrow family in all aspects. We also thank Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Sukumaran, Babugaru, Sri Sister's name? Kalavaskar ma'am and uh, Krishnamurti sir for sharing their feelings for uh, and thoughts for Dr. Haima Murthy. Most importantly, we thank Dr. Haima Murthy, the author of the book, The Pandemic Paranormal, for having given us the opportunity to publish this book. From what we understand from her address to us and those of the dignitaries, we have seen that how an attempt has been made to present the pandemic situation in our book in a way we all can relate to. We appreciate the admirable quality of hers to be able to pen her thoughts so engrossing manner. We are sure the book is going to make for an interesting reading. We thank all the guests and well-wishers who are present here today and have made this function a memorable one for us. We thank the organizers of Ravindra Bharti for allocating this hall and our special thanks to the print and electronic media for coming forward to cover this event. Last but not the least, I thank Ms. Amulya and all the members of the Aero team who have played a key role in making this event a grand success. Once again, our hearty thanks to all. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. So it was lovely to see all of you today. Thank you so much for supporting the event. The book is now available for sale and it costs only 150 rupees. So as our author already told us, all the proceeds will be going to uh, Ashray Akriti. So this is an NGO which provides special education, health and vocational training to address the needs of people with disability. So as the book price is very nominal, I urge all of you to buy more than one book, gift it to your friends, family, and uh, be part of the good cause. Thank you. So uh, before we all disperse, please stand up for the national anthem. Shubha Ashishamage, 
गाए तब जय दाता जन गण मन गायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विदाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे so that uh, the compare of the program is also honored just a minute please thank you so much madam 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 madam